Shout out! We are back. Yun. Hello po sa lahat. We are back. For another business. live discussion by your truly DJ Bar Music and Topic TV. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Siyempre, nagbabalik tayo ulit. At another live discussion, another video reaction. Hello po sa inyo lahat dyan sa comment section. Maraming marami salamat again sa patuloy at walang sawang suporta sa akin. I appreciate ko po kayong lahat. Siyempre, I always um, grateful to each and every one of you sa lahat po na nagpupunta rito. At sa mga bago kong subscribers, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Please don't forget to like, share. And if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is DJ Bar, your music and topic TV. And for today's topic, ladies and gentlemen, mga kababayan, pag-uusapan natin ang nangyaring prescon kanina, diba? kinasuhan na naman po si Maharlika. <laughs> At ang yours, yours truly, eh, mapalad na naimbitahan sa prescon. At nakapagtanong tayo, syempre, dun sa abogado na sa California. At syempre, dun sa kanya, sa another personality na nagkaso kay Maharlika. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. Eh. At syempre, pag-uusapan din natin. Tebes, arestado na. Yeah. Diba? So yan po ang ating mga pag-uusapan ngayon. At sana again, be part of the discussion dyan sa comment section. Syempre, bibigyan din natin ng reaction itong interview ni Pangulong Bongbong Marco sa dalawang foreign, foreign journalist. Maganda yung kinalabasan ng interview at syempre meron meron lang tayo mga re-reactionan dito at bibigyan natin ng punto dun sa interview na nangyari. So once again guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another live discussion by your Sully DJ by Music and Topic TV. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new to my channel. Again, be part of the conversation dyan sa comment section. Huwag na natin itong patagalin. Let me share my screen and please do press on if you guys can see my share screen. Shoutout muna tayo. Shoutout syempre sa si Ann, Neil De Acero, Ate Geraldine Kondo. Shoutout sa'yo. Jos, um, um, Josefa Olivia, hello po sa inyo. Stone Trooper, shoutout sa'yo. Syempre, Jose Bonifacio. Shara Flor Delisa Sunday, Mr. Sambari, Shara Sayo, Anthony Paul, Yolanda Pampano, Mia Suzuki, Ate Trixie, Mami Terry, Jin Kawige, Shara Sayo. Please don't forget to share and like. Please paki-like po nito. Maraming maraming salamat. Charlene Kim, Shara Sayo. I-share ko lang po to sa ating mga kaibigan para masimulan na natin to, ha? Okay, ang una nating topic si Tebes. Si Tebes po ay naaresto na. So ang tanong ko sa mga defender ni Tebes, ano na? <laughs> sa mga defender ni Tebes ano na Morin De Silva, De Silva shout out po sa inyo ha? ano na mga defender ni Tebes paano nyo na ipagtatanggol tong amo nyo ipagtanggol nyo na ipagtanggol nyo na yung amo nyo inaresto na si Tebes dyan sa Timor Leste habang nag ano ginagawa habang nag go golf <laughs> ayan no habang naggo-golf, inaresto. At siyempre, may balita tayo diyan. Okay? Pakinggan natin 'tong balita. Inaresto raw sa Timor Leste si dating Congressman Arnolfo Tebes Jr. Kinumpirma po 'yan sa News 5 ni Pamplona Mayor Janice Degamo. Anya, may nakita silang litrato online ng pagdakip kay Tebes. Agad 'tong sinend ni Mayor Degamo sa Ayan 'no, oh, naggo-golf pa yung boss ni Labanat Bay. <laughs> Naggo-gol pa yung boss ni Labanat Bay. Ah, ayan, di ba? E di inaresto. Oh, tapos. <laughs> so ano na? Paano na ngayon? Ha? Paano na ngayon, mga Tebes Vlogger? Yung mga kaibigan natin na Tebes Vlogger, ipagtanggol nyo tong amo nyo. <laughs> Hindi, shout sa mga kaibigan natin na nagde-defense sa Tebes. Shout sa inyo, ha? Kaibigan namin kayo. Kaya hindi okay lang 'yan. Walang problema. 'Di ba? Pero na-appreciate ko yung mga talagang mga na, nagising sa katotohanan. 'Di ba nagising at um, talagang naliwanagan na etong taong pinoprotektahan nila. Isipin mo pinoprotektahan nila Ma'am Yolanda Yamada Sharal at Tiger Eyes Sharal at Morin De Silva. Isipin mo yung taong pinoprotektahan nila ay may kaso at sasabihin nila inosente. Kung inosente 'yan unat-una pa lang hindi na nagpunta yan ng Timor-Leste para magtago. 
nagpakita na yan, umatend yan sa hearing. Eh anong ginawa? Nagdadrama parang si Kibuloy. Pakinggan natin. DOJ. Naglabas na rin ng hiwalay na statement ng DOJ at kinumpirma ang pag-aresto kay Tebes. Sa ngayon, umaasa si Mayor Degamo na maibabalik agad si Tebes sa Pilipinas. Higit isang taon ng nasa ibang bansa ang dating kongresista. Si Tebes ang tinuturong mastermind sa pagpatay sa mister ni Mayor Degamo na si dating Negros Oriental Governor Roel Degamo at Sham na iba pa. Tinanggi po yan ng dating kongresista. Kamakailan lamang lang may sama si Tebes sa red notice ng hmm. Interpol. Patapos, Sharat, ha? Nagsisilbi itong pakiusap sa mga bansa na hulihin ang dating mambabatas. <laughs> The picture that shows uh, Arnie, I think he was practicing golf or what? Nag-golf, uh, na. Alam mo, na complacent to si Tebes na nag ka pa. Ano kala mo, untouchable ka? ba? Diba? Meron pa siyang pa t-shirt, t-shirt laban kasama ang bayan. Isa rin to sa naniwala kay Maharlika. O ano ngayon? ba? Diba? Na bingo ka ngayon. Na, na huli ka ngayon. So ano, anong gagawin niyan? Ito ang inaabangan natin diyan, guys. Pag umuwi ng Pilipinas 'yan, ano kaya ang magiging drama? 'Yun ang inihintay natin, 'di ba? Kasi simple lang naman eh. Sana noon pa man hindi siya nagtago. Num- number two, hindi siya nagdrama. 'Di ba? Na sinabi niya may magpapapatay sa kanya hanggang sa dinamay na nga niya si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos uh, at sino? Si First Lady. Tinawag niya ng kuting kung ano, tinawag niyang mamsi, kung ano-ano, black warrior shoutout sa'yo, di ba? Binastos niya na rin di umano, di ba? At yung mga vloggers, yung mga vloggers ni Tebes, ano, todo depensa, todo tanggol, o ayan, yung amo nyo, yung amo nyo, nahuli na, ipagtanggol nyo, I can't wait, I can't wait. Talagang surrounded by police officer doon sa picture, parang nakakarilyo po talaga. Uh, Lalo-lalo na po if he will be behind bars. We would like to see him behind bars. Tama. Seeing uh, Arnie behind bars, gusto ko talagang puntahan at tignan na ipasok siya sa kulungan. Hmm. Mga kapatid. Diba? So yan, kinonfirm yan. At eto, kinonfirm pa rin kaninang umaga sa balita. Okay. Kinonfirm din yan kanina. Confirm na yan ng DOJ. Talagang inaresto na eh. Diba? Oh, play natin to. Inaresto na I sa Timor that, Leste out, si dating oh. Congressman Arnolfo Tevez Jr. Kinumpirma yan sa News 5 ni Pamplona Mayor Janis De Gamo. Hmm. Aniya may nakita silang litrato online Ayan na pagtakip yan, no? kay Tevez. Agad itong sinend ni Mayor De Gamo sa Department of Justice. Naglabas na rin ang hiwalay na statement ng DOJ at kinumpirma yes. na ang pag-aresto kay Tevez. Sa ngayon, umaasa si Mayor De Gamo na maibabalik agad si Tevez sa Pilipinas. Higit isang taon ang nasa ibang bansa ang dating kongresista. Mahigit isang si taon na itin- pag-golf-golf lang. Di ba? Pag-golf-golf. Isipin mo pag-golf-golf. Tuturong mastermind sa pagpatay sa mister ni Mayor De Gamo na si dating Negros Oriental Governor Roel De Gamo at siyam na iba pa. Itinanggiya ng dating kongresista. Kamakailan lang nang maisama si Tevez sa red notice ng Interpol. Nagsisilbi itong pakiusap sa mga bansa na hulihin ang dating mambabata. Samantala, nagpatrolya naman ng Mm, ayan ha. At eto nga po yung nilabas ng DOJ. Oh, Hototeros. Pagtanggol niyo yung amo niyo. Ayan oh, ano sabi? DOJ confirm arrest of Tevez in Timor Leste. The Department of Justice confirmed the arrest of former Negros Occidental Congressman and designated terrorist. Terrorist. Uulitin ko yan. Hototeros. At sa mga vlogger ni Tevez. Terrorist. Okay. Arnulfo Arnie Tevez Jr. in Dili East Timor today around 4 p.m. while playing golf at the Tough Golf Driving Range and Bar. <laughs> oh, ano ba, Ma'am Jo, shout po sa inyo. 'Di ba? Paano ba 'yan? Paano na 'yan? Ano lang gagawin niyo mga hototeros? Ipagtatanggol niyo pa ba itong si Tevez? Ha? Ha? Ipagtatanggol niyo pa ba? Banat ba eh? Oh. ba? Diba? Nagpa-presscon pa yan eh. Naalala ko nagpa-presscon pa yan guys. At nung nagpa-presscon yan, syempre, yung mga vloggers nandun, sino nag, sino, eto, sino ang nag, nag-cater ng presscon ni Tebes? Sige, sino? Sinong media outlet? 
Kasi alam ko, pinayak din yan ni Karen Davila kung naalala nyo. Di ba? Pinayak yan ni Karen Davila. Si Tebes. Sa interview. Sino nag-cater dyan? Alam nyo kung sino, di ba? Mami Oli Binoya, shout out po sa inyo. Di ba? Kitang-kita nyo kung sino nag-cater dyan. Hmm. So, ngayon na uh, kinakaharap na, alam nyo, sabi ko nga eh, kung ito inosente, hindi naman magtataguyan eh. Hindi yung gagawa ng mga dahilan na may magpapapatay sa kanya, merong ganito, ganyan, ganito, ganyan. No, hindi yung gagawa ng ganyan. Di ba? At hindi ko naman sinasabing guilty siya. Ang sinasabi ko lang, bakit niya kailangan magtago? Bakit niya kailangan magtago? Di ba? Sa Timor Leste, di ba? So ngayon nagkanda leche leche lalo buhay niya. Oh, ngayon eto, punta tayo kay Pastor Kibuloy. Kung si Pastor Kibuloy ay magtatago din. Ganyan din ang kakahinatnan niyan. Kung ha, kung hindi ko sinasabi magtatago. Kung magtatago din. Pero sa tingin ko naman, we, we the benefit of the doubt, si Pastor Kibuloy, sabi nga niya, hinamo nga niya ang justice system natin, ang mga complainant, mag-file kayo ng kaso sa korte. So ngayon, hinamo niya yung mag-file ng kaso sa korte, sa tingin ko, aaten yan. Okay? So punta na tayo sa second topic natin. Alright? Doon sa mga vlogger ni Tebes, idepensa nyo yung amo nyo ngayon na nakulong or nahuli. Gusto ko marinig ang komento nyo. Lalo na yung tatlong kalbo. Alright? Oh, dito na tayo kay Maharlika. So, eto po kanina, ha? Nagkaroon po kanina ng preskon. At shout out pala kay Tol Tapan. Pahiram ako na ito, Tol. Maraming salamat. Nagkaroon po kanina ng preskon. Isa pong fashion designer na kilala. At ngayon, ang ginawa ni Maharlika, siniraan niya tong fashion designer na to. Okay? Ngayon, We are privileged or napalad tayo na imbitahan sa Prescon at napalad tayo na kapag tanong doon sa abogado at doon mismo sa nagkaso kay Maharlika dito sa California. Hindi po ito si Abela, ibang personalidad itong nagkaso kay Maharlika at yung mga kaninang gising pa na umantabay dyan sa, sa Prescon na yan or parang Q&A na yan. Eh mag- alam nyo kung sino sinasabi ko, 'di ba? Marami pong vlogger ang sumama diyan. Ito sa po ko diyan na naibitahan at nakapasok at nakapagtanong. Okay? So papakinggan muna natin eto si Maharlika, yung kanyang pagngak-ngak. Tapos rereaction na natin tong video ni Top 1. Si Tol Top 1 na siya yung nakapag ano, siya yung nakapag uh, tawag dito, nakapag live stream yang kanina eh. 'Di ba? Okay? So DJ Byron, magandang hapon po. Shoutout BBM lang saklam. Yes, of course. Morissette Barreto, shoutout po sa inyo. Okay, please, wag niyo po sanang kalimutan mag, ano, mag, um, tawag dito, mag, uh, mag thumbs up. Okay? Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Okay, so, eto muna tayo. Kay Maharlika, tapos susunod tayo kay Tall Top 1. Asan yung kay Tall Top 1 dito? Ayan, ayan. Susunod tayo kay Tall Top 1. Ayan. Tall Top 1, marami salamat to la. Okay, pakinggan natin si Maharlika at yung kanyang akusasyon. Dito sa fashion designer na to na nagkaso sa kanya na naman dito sa Amerika. Walang kadaladala to si Maharlika. Walang kadaladala. Lalo mong pinapalit ang mundo mo. Okay? Pakinggan natin to. Qualified undergraduate. Red shout out sa'yo. Alright. Na, actually, marami tayong pag-uusapan pero tututok tayo dito sa uh, fashion scam hmm. or uh, katandem ni Lisa. Fashion scam. Unang first sentence or first couple sentence pa lang, tumawag na siya kagad ng fashion scam. Hindi, hindi ito nag-iisip eh. Kaya nga hindi ako makapaniwala. Yung mga viewers neto, umaapaw. Ito ah, I'll be very, very direct. Ganun na ba katanga ang ibang kababayan natin na Pilipino? Matanong ko nga po kayo dyan sa baba, ganun na ba sila katanga? At hindi sila gumagamit ng critical thinking at naniniwala sila sa sabi-sabi ng isang babae na wala naman nilabas na ebidensya sa lahat ng akusasyon kay Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, kay First Lady, sa gobyerno natin, sa administrasyon natin, at kung sino-sino pang politiko at personalidad, ni isa walang pinakitang ebidensya na nagmaterialize at nakasuhan yung kanyang inaakusahan. Di ba? Kaya nat- nagtataka talaga ako na ganun, ba- ganun pa rin ba marami pa rin Pinoy ang nabubudol at naniniwala sa isang taong 
nuknukan ng kapik nyo san, ito nagtatanong lang ako. Okay, pakinggan natin to. Mags, o, tignan natin, baka hindi niya alam mo, nagmaang-maangan siya. Sabi ko nga, sa inyo, friends with the same feather, scam together. Mm. See that? <laughs> diba? Alright, so nagbigay sa atin ng informasyon ng puting ahas at ni-research po natin sa social, sa uh, online. Actually, social media. Uh, <laughs> Sabi mo na social media. Kung sino ito, Pure sino kaya siya, ang scammer na scammer na designer. Ah, si? Ah, Pasok na pasok siya sa banga. Mamaya makikita nyo yan. Hindi po fake news tong sinasabi ko. Kasi kasama, ito, ito, bibigyan ko kayo ng scoop ha. Ayan ako. Ayan po kanina yan. Ayan. Ayan kami. Si Mark Ramos. Andyan ako. At syempre yung ibang vlogger. Okay? Makikita nyo po mamaya. Iyan kay Tool Top 1 ba? I-reaction na natin. Ang nakikipag BFF kay Lisa Smugs. Hmm. Although maraming mga scammers at maraming mga designers na talagang pupumuporma sa kanila at uh, makakonek at alam ko yan even before nung nandiyan ako sa Pilipinas. Thank you, Fab Edmonton, Canada. Thank you, Abraham. So, out Marcos, sabi ni eh, Ian President Duterte, sabi ni Ming Bisnar and Sol Aguilar. Okay. So, you know what? Ano ba yung uh, scheme, okay, nitong designer na itetch? <laughs> Ayan na, tatalbogan na natin mga showbiz chika, boom, boom. Alright, sino itong designer na ito? <laughs> Alam nyo, no? Grabe to, no? Isipin mo, saan siya kumukuha ng lakas ng loob para mang, mang balahura, mang walang niya ng kung sino-sinong personalidad. Pero ito, ah, pag ito nahuli at ito at naposasan to, although hindi naman criminal, criminal case ang defamation, it's a civil case, but still, hindi guilty ang tawag doon, kundi pagbabayarin ka ng korte, it's a fine. But still, this is a stress for her. Kasi isipin nyo ha, isipin nyo, saan kakukuha ng pera? ba? Diba? Kakangak-ngak mo, sa tingin mo, kasya yan, kinikita mo sa YouTube para ipambayad mo sa abogado mo? Kaya hapit na hapit sa live stream to. Ito. Joanna Eli, uh, shout out GB, hello, shout out. Red, shout out. Magulang muna kayo dyan, diba? Mag, ano, guessing game muna tayo. Alam niyo itong designer na ito, kilalang kilala siya sa industriya ng mga alta-altahan at uh, alta-altahan at sa mundo ng show business. All right. Jean Dolinog, sana lumayas na ang mambubudol sa Malacañang. So anyway, ang nakaraang na research natin dahil may nagchu-chu sa atin na bonggam-bongga na ang ginagawa pala ng mga designers, I'm not saying lahat, pero itong partikular na designer na ito, mga palangga ino overprice nila yung mga presyo ng kanilang mga yung iba mm. talagang gawa nila ino overprice daw yung kanilang mga design at yung iba naman ay hinango nila kumbaga hinango nila sa mga mananahi lamang o sa mga department store na gumagawa ng mga suit at pinapalitan ng kanilang pangalan mm. see that yung akusasyon niyang ganyan yung mga ibang designer daw, hindi ito nakakaunawa eh. Hindi niya naiintindihan yung, yung, yung tawag dito, yung responsibilidad ng designer at kung paano itayo ng isang fashion designer ang kanilang sarili sa mundo ng fashion world. I do have a friends, I do have friends in a fashion industry. Yung nagtahi ng aming Nung kinasal kami ng wife ko, sikat na ngayon yon na fashion designer dyan sa Pilipinas. Pero na nagsisimula siya, nakita ko yung hirap niya. Ngayon, sikat na sikat na siya. Hindi ko nababangitin kung sino. Pero sikat na sikat na siya ngayon dyan sa Pilipinas. Yung nagta- nagtayo, nagtayo, nagtahi ng, ng, ano ko, ng custom kong um, 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 suit and tie. And then sa wife ko yung gown niya. So, nakita ko kung paano nila i-build. Siyempre, isipin mo, pinapangalagaan mo, pangalan mo dun, di ba? Yung credibilidad mo, yung image mo as a fashion designer, tapos paparatangan ka lang ng ganito at walang ebidensya, idadamay ka. Kaya ngayon, maharli ka, sa tingin ko, baka makalbo ka sa stress. Can you believe that? 
Tapos, pinipresyohan nila ng bonggang bongga. Itapia siya. So, let's say, for example, ang bili nila sa uh, SM, uh, you know, sa mall, 2,500 lang na isang magandang suit. Binanggit mo pa yung pangalan ng SM. Sana kasuhan ka rin ng SM. <laughs> Ngayon, sasabihin nila, gawa nila. Tapos, ibibenta sa mga politiko na bonggang bongga at mga mark-up pa nila ng sobrang laki. Not only 100%, but parang, Uh, one, you know, one million percent, hundred thousand percent. Tanga din to, eh, no? Tanga din eh. <laughs> Ang fashion designer, they have a boutique, Maharlika. Kung di mo naiintindihan yung sinasabi mo, they do have a boutique. Now, if you want a tailor made just for you as a fashion designer, hindi ako, as I know a fashion designer, susukatan ka nila. It's a tailor-made specific for the person na gustong makakuha or makakuha ng um, designer piece ng fashion designer. Ganon ang ginagawa ng mga fashion designer. Kaya nga, pag meron silang exhibit or meron silang fashion show, ang tawag doon, runway collection. Alam mo, wala siyang alam eh. Wala siyang alam sa sinasabi niya eh. Trying hard niyang itayo o itawid yung pagpapaliwanag niya diyan sa industriya ng fashion world. <laughs> kaya kaya ka na to trouble eh. Anyway, yes, ayan. Uh, wala pa nakakahula sa mga comment section. So ang siste, bibigyan ko yung ng background. Itong designer na ito at ang iba niyang mga ka kapwa you know is camer ba mm. ang ginagawa pa lang itong mga palangga bina pasok na pasok ka na naman tinawag mo na lang si camer mamaya after nito ilang minutes lang to babalik pupunta na tayo sa press con okay at maririnig niyo na yung kung sino yung nagkaso makikita niyo papanood niyo at sino yung mga abogado medyo nosebleed lang kasi english eh kasi dito sa california yan binibili nila yung iba sa baklaran yung iba kung saan-saan <laughs> uh, doon sa mga mananahi talaga sa mga probinsya, hindi talaga pala sila ang gumagawa. Pero I'm not saying na lahat sila. Yung iba talaga na mga uh, prestigiosong mga designers na gumagawa talaga sila ng kanila mga design, you know, I salute you guys. Okay? Pero yung mga humahango lang, tapos papalta nila ng tatak, ito palangga ang pinakapambubudol. Not only sa mga... Uh, customers nila, kundi kasama sa pambubulol sa bayan. Why? Kasi, Ay, ito, ako, kung paano uh, based sa mga binibigay sa atin na information, ang ginagawa nila, yun... <laughs> hirap na hirap itawin yung pagpapaliwanag para lang magmukha talagang masama yung kanyang pinaparatangan dito. ba? Diba? Kung ang... ang followers neto matatalino at viewers neto matatalino, they will already know na itong si Maharlika cannot even explain yung nangyayari sa mundo ng fashion world. Bagong Pilipinas, shoutout sa'yo. Maraming salamat. Ha. Guys, ha, kasi Simply Talkers um, um, Simply Talkers Vlog, shoutout sa'yo. Guys, huwag niyo po sana kalimutan mag-thumbs up. Okay? O, pakinggan natin to. Ah, bibili nila ng Jonah Eli shout out. Tapos ibebenta nila ng 200,000. Bibili nila ng 250,000. Tapos bibili na. Ito naman si Politico dal friends, you know. Over friends, Maharlika the designer kunyari. How much is this Maharlika? O na sabihin ko 250,000. Pero dahil ikaw ay kumakamal ng billiones o multi-million pesos. Ses. So barya lang sa iyo yan. Sure, sure, sure. Sa mga nagdorobo kasi sa Malacañang Barya lang sa yan. So itong taong sinasabi ko mga palangga ay BFF ni Lisa Smugs. Ito na. Higyan natin siya ng benefit of the doubt. Irene, Irene Charles. Diba? Siya, siya ay mandorobo. Sunia Hasegwa siya na itong designer na to. Mm. At hindi niya siguro na background check. Hindi na background check ni Paul Soriano. Okay? Diyan sa Presidential Communications. <laughs> hindi na na background check na ito ay nakalusot. Glenn Chonggo, siya na. Actually, narinig ko na to nung nasa Pilipinas. Ay, ganyan to. Pero kasi... Uh, sa dami-dami ng issue, mga palangga, mm. sabi ko, that can wait. Sabi ko, tignan natin kung sito mga taong ito. So, ito na nga. So, bakit kailangan natin pag-usapan to? Kasi apektado po. Kasi, ha? para meron ka ulit pangalawang kaso. <laughs> 
para ka ulit makapambudol ka sa mga viewers mong uto-uto at tanga. Mami best friend shout out po sa iyo. 'Di ba ganoon lang kasimple 'yun eh. That's the only way for you to earn money. E magsinungaling ng harap-harapan sa mga viewers mong utu-utu at tanga. At gumawa ka ng kwentong walang ebidensya. Para lang maisingit mo. Tama si Jimmy, maisingit niya si First Lady Lisa at pagmukha mo, pagmukha mong, pagmukain mong masama ang administrasyon ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Ngayon, tingnan natin ang tapang mo. After na itong video ipiplay ko in 4 minutes. Uh, budget ng Pilipinas. Budget ninyo. Bud, I mean, yung pera ng bayan. Sabi ni Shawi Yamashita. Sabi niya, oh my God, fraud in many cases. So, recently, <laughs> ay nagroon, nagkaroon pa ng fashion show. Isipin mo mga tangang comment na yun. Oh my God, fraud in many cases. Wala nga pinakitang ebidensya yan eh. <laughs> Tapos sabihin nyo, fraud in many cases, yung bunga nga niya, na, naniniwala kay sa bunga nga niyan, ha? na walang naiambag sa bayan. Diyos ko po, feeling niya, feeling neto siya ang magiging superhero ng Pilipinas. <laughs> I think couple of, not the other day, si Abel yun, the other week, so definitely this is not Abel. Ah, di ba? Uh, Hindi po si Abel yan. Mamaya maririnig niyo kung sino yan. I, So, two weeks ago, okay? So, nandudoon, nagrampa ang mga kakilala natin, mga hitad. <laughs> mga kakilala natin, mga hitad. So, itong designer na ito ay may issue na pala siya back in 2011, issue, 2019. Issue. At marami pang mga pagkakataon na kung saan uh, meron ditong, uh, ito, may nakuha tayong article. Ay, ganyan ito. Okay, sa internet na internet. pinrin ko, ito. Actually, galing ito sa fashion police. You Google. Fashion police. <laughs> Article niya or yung information na kinuha niya, hindi galing sa media. Hindi galing sa kilalang media entity sa Pilipinas. Kinuha niya sa fashion police. <laughs> Alam niyo ba kung ano yung fashion police? Yun yung, mga, yun yung site na nagpapakita Well, siya, siya na sa'yo, Mac Mac Pablo. Yun yung side na nagpapakita. For example, may isang celebrity na hindi maganda yung kaus-kasuutan niya. Doon nila tinutuligsa. Okay? Doon nila tinutuligsa. At ito ang kanyang source. <laughs> Ayan, kasama ko si Mac Mac Pablo kanina doon sa press conference. Uh, pero sabi ng ating bub- ng bubit, majority, na, well, I will say, para naman maging fair no sa mga kakilala natin at kaibigan natin na mga designers let's say sabi natin 60 40 di ba parang investor lang di ba 60% is mga manluloko o mga scam diyan sa mga designers at 40% let's say matitino the reason why tayong mga Pilipino paano tayo sisigaw ng proud pinoy gawang atin kung dito pa lang sa loob ng Pilipinas o sa loob ng Pilipinas, eh nangi-scam na kayo. Paano tayo magiging world class kung bibili lang pala kayo sa mga mananahi dyan sa tabi-tabi mm. o sa shop? Isipin nyo, pati mananahi ah. Pati mananahi, anong ginagawa niya? Minamaliit niya. I mean, this is my interpretation, Maharlik ah. Sinabi mo, pati mananahi sa tabi-tabi. Di ba? Ang tingin mo sa mananahi, tabi-tabi lang, hindi sila mga rangal na matatrabaho. Nagtatanong ako, mahali ka. Mall, at papalitan nyo ng pangalan ninyo. Hindi ba pang scam yan? Kasi sabi ko nga, kay Lisa, barya lang yan. 200,000, 300,000, million barya lang, pikit mata yan. Dahil di naman niya pera yan. <laughs> Gobyerno ang nagbabayad sa suot niya kahit butod-butod siya. So definitely, dahil siya ay uto-uto at gullible at yun, know, laging bangag. Kasi si Lisa, ganito yan. Sasabihin mo lang na maganda yan, akala niya totoo. <laughs> Dama. Ako never ko siya binolang ganyan. No, you're so beautiful naman. Ha? No, I don't do that. Hmm. Kasi never ako nagsisipsip. Hindi ko sasabihin ng isang taong maganda na hindi naman. Well, to be fair, nung bata siya, nung hindi pa siya nasusunog ng mga polboronic at ng mga nikotin at ng mga jalak. So, you know, to be fair sa kanya, Banat hindi naman siya pangit. 
Pero pag sinabuso mo yung katawan mo, eh yun na nga. Okay, tuloy ang chika. Mm, ito na. So 2011, na-search natin, i-google ito nyo na. Ito na, lang. papangalaan okay. na niya na kasi tanga siya. Uh, <laughs> merong isang uh, groom na kung saan umorder sa kanya. Here is game, shout out. Uh, suit nga, okay, groom, okay? Nag-suit at ang uh, usapan nila, na. you know, isusuot sa kasal, syempre groom, bonggam-bongga. <laughs> Tapos it turned out, masaya na lang natin to. Sabi dito sa Fashion Police, last night around 26 p.m. This was 2011. Doon ako natato eh. Fashion Police. Ano ba na to? Fashion Police ang source mo? <laughs> ito so, na, ito na. Ito na. na tuminang ating pasavog. Alright. Last night at around 8.26 uh, p.m. I received an SMS message from John. Ito yung biktima. Ito yung groom. Okay? Ito si groom. The, the, the victim in the Poy Quinones. Oh, alam nyo na. Poy Quinones. Pinangalanan niya. Okay? Pakinggan nyo. Tuloy natin to. Si Mr. Poy Quinones. Isa po. Isa siya po kung sino si Mr. Poy Quinones. Malalaman nyo kung sino siya. Yun ang nagkaso kay Maharlika ulit. Nakalagay ah. Poy Quinones scam. Ito hmm. yung recently na nag... Poy Quinones scam. Tingnan nyo, pakinggan natin. Acting-acting dyan sa malaver niyang mapantayan. O kahit mapantayan man lang. Kasi never siya maging Imelda Marcos. Dugyot eh. <laughs> diba? Dugyot eh. Paano ka magpapantayan? So, victim... In the Poy Quinones scam that read, sabi nga nun, Hi Michael, we got, we got already the sum of 195 uh, cash and we returned the suit and the gown. Ah, okay. Wag, wag, wag muna to. <laughs> Nagbasa, bali pa. <laughs> yung binasa niya, na-return na siguro yung, yung, yung gown tsaka yung suit. Okay. Move. Ito muna. Uh, this is from ABS-CBN ba to? ABS. Uh, basta sa ano to, ABS-CBN or Philippine Star. Hindi pa sigurado. Eh, kanina nila, sinabi mo, fashion police. Hindi niya ubod ng kasinungalingan na ito, babain to. The lowdown on alleged Poy Quinones alleged. fashion scam. Alleged. Mahal ni ka, binanggit mo na alleged. Allegation. Ano, hindi malinaw dun. Okay. So nag-apologize siya dahil ito pa lang ga, yung groom na nagpatahi sa kanya as designer, ano, as a dis- mag- magsusuot ng designer clothes to. galing sa kanya. Alam niyo ba, ang ibinigay niya ay binili niya sa SM. Mm, okay, dinamay <laughs> pa niya SM. Ginawa. Diba? Ah. Hindi niya ginawa, hindi niya dinisign, binili niya sa SM. Eto siya ngayon. Ngayon, ah. paano natin asasalansanin ito? Paano natin ikukunik sa pinaglalaman? Tandaan nyo, ayan, dyan na natin tatapusin. Tandaan nyo, 2011 pa yan. Yung allegation na yan, yung article na yan na lumabas, take in mind, shout sa'yo, sa Fashion Police na um, website. Ngayon, nagkaroon po kanina ng press conference. Nagkaroon tayo ng chance. Ayan po, ayan tayo. Ayan, oh, ayan, oh, ayan. Oh. Wala na lang tong audio, pero ayan po kami kanina. Ayan. Ayan si Mr. Poy, uh, so ayan, ayan sila Mark Ramos, andyan ako, ayan ako, ayan, nandyan din si Tol Top One, marami po kaninang vloggers, nandyan yung abogado. Ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo, paparinig ko sa inyo yung naging press con neto kanina sa page ni Top One. Tol Top One, para mako neto ulit, ha? ayan, si Top One. Kasi si Top One po kanina, naitele, naitelecast niya to sa kanyang page. Okay sa kanyang YouTube. So please, don't yeah, also no, forget that. No, uh, ayan na, ayan na. Uh, pakinggan nyo to. Ita, ita translate ko na lang. Filipino fashion designer who alternates his time What's going on? Hmm. Please everybody set your settings to mute. We are recording this press conference. See? Who is a fashion designer? Recording in progress. Hui is a Hui Quinones is a Filipino fashion designer who alternates his time between Manila, Philippines, and Los Angeles, California. Uh, see? He was the featured designer mentor in the 2002 award-winning documentary, The World's Most Fashionable Prison. See that? His big break. He- kilala siya. <laughs> si Poy, Mr. Poy Quinones, ay kilala pong fashion designer. Siya po yung siniraan ni Maharlika sa vlog niya. At kinasuhan siya. 
Ah, uh, pahingin natin yung tatapan. In 2002, when he was a finalist at the Philippines Young Designers Competition for Paris. Mm. After a decade leading a design house in Manila, Quinones relocated to Los Angeles, California, mm. Where he was one of the featured designers for the Jay Summer Fashion Show in New York City. See, he was a fe- featured designer in Jay's fashion show in New York City. Hindi siya basta-basta fashion designer lang. Ito yung pinangalanan siniraan ni Maharlika. 2014. He designed one of Katy Perry's costumes Patay. for her Dark Horse music video. See that? Katy Perry. Sino ka nakakilala kay Katy Perry? Press one. Sino nakakakilala kay Katy Perry? Press one. Siya nag-design ng damit ni Katy Perry sa isa sa mga show ni Katy Perry. Concert show. Oh. Kaya si Maharlika, sabi ko sa inyo, sa mga naniniwala dyan, nako po. Nako po, sabi ko sa iyo. Kawawa yan. Mak- baka makalbo yan sa kakaisip kung saan kukuha ng pambayad sa abogado. <laughs> Kikawa des me shara, di ba? Oh, talin natin to. Please go on mute. Kinones was a guest designer for ta. America's top model, Cycle 21. He designed clothes using fabrics native to the Philippines for a runway challenge. In 2015, Kinones became creative director for the global bridal brand, Coco Melody. See that? Kilala siya eh. Kilala to eh. Si Mr. Koy Quinones, eh, kilala siya. Ako kilala ko siya. Eh. Nagulat nga ako kanina. Eh. In 2018, Quinones and partner Paul Martino established Puy Quinones, Los Angeles in the designer's downtown atelier. They opened two showrooms in Bel Air Village, Makati, the first for Quinones's fashion brand and the second for Coco Melody Bridal Wear. E! News correspondent and TV host Zuri Hall wore his dress to the very famous Met Gala See that? 2019. Met Gala. <laughs> Sino nakakalam dito ng Met Gala? That's a very prestigious event happening always once a year in either France, Prague, United States. Oy, maraming salamat, Goku Baba, sa Super Chat. Ha? Thank you, thank you so much. Met Gala, guys. Hindi basta-basta tong dinali ni ni ano ni Maharlikang Lokaret. Iiyak 'yan ng bato. <laughs> Kasi sinasabi ko, yung mga naniniwala diyan. Ayun. Tingnan niyo press conference to kanina, nandun kami. Met Gala. Sa mga hindi na, hindi alam ang Met Gala, isa po 'yan sa pinaka-prestigious event sa Hollywood na dinadaluhan ng kung sino-sinong kilalang sikat na personalidad. International foreign artists. Okay? Hindi lang minsan kilala pang mga politika dito sa sa Amerika at even I think Prince Harry or Prince um, yung kapatid ni Prince Harry pumunta na rin dyan. Met Gala. Kaya hindi basta-bastong basta-basta tong taong tong inunihitad. Kaya ngayon hitad, yari ka talaga. <laughs> in 2020 and again in 2022, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art acquired a Mr. Quinones dress for its permanent collection. Ano sabi? Quinones' designs have been featured in publications. Hindi natin ang sabi? News correspondent and TV host Zuri Hall wore his dress to the very famous Met Gala in 2019. In 2020 and again in 2022, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art acquired a Mr. Quinones dress for its permanent collection. See that? Quinones' designs have been featured in publications, television shows, movies, music videos, and red carpet events. He was especially proud when actress Melissa McCarthy wore one of his designs to the 2024 SAG Awards. See? Pre- SAG Award. Ano yung SAG? Ha? Artist yun eh. Um, neto lang nangyari. I just forget the definition. But anyway, isipin mo, Lisa McCartney. Lisa McCartney, guys. 
I-search na lang kung hindi nyo kilala si Lisa McCartney, i-search na lang kung sino si Lisa McCartney. Sinuot yung isa sa mga um, design piece ni Mr. Kione. Ni Koy. Di ba? Di po eh. Di ba? O isipin nyo yun. Creations have been worn by other celebrities such as Destiny's Child member Michelle Williams, mm. Miss Universe 2012, <laughs> Olivia Pulpo, mm. True Blood actress Rutina Wesley, fashion model and actress Ireland Baldwin, Patay. Fuller House actress Lori Laughlin, American rapper MC Light, among others. See that? Kita niyo mga kliyente na ito? <laughs> Ay, Tad. Kung ako siya, ko na channel ko. Magpunta ka na sa moon. <laughs> Magpunta ka na sa moon. At timay timay ito, shout out sa'yo. Doon ka na magpunta sa moon. Dahil etong taon to, hindi to titigil for sure. Kasi tinanong ko siya eh. Mamaya maririnig nyo. Nakapagtanong ako sa kanya dito sa interview na to eh. Tinanong ko siya talaga kung pupurso niya to at kung maipagsettle siya. Mamaya maririnig nyo. Patay yung abogado. Naku. Kung ako siya itad, humingi ka na ng ano, humingi ka na ng access papunta sa ilalim ng lupa kay pastor. <laughs> humingi ka na ng access dahil for sure naku po yari ka dito now I would like to introduce Mr. Quinones as attorney Keith Ayan Gregory ah, pakinggan nyo to Keith Gregory is a partner at the law firm of Snell and Wilmer with over 35 years of experience Keith who serves as co-chair of the commercial litigation group in California regularly handles cases in the areas of general business, real estate, and partnership disputes. He's proud to be working with Pui Quinones. Within the legal community, Keith has been named a legal visionary and diversity, equity, and inclusion, and accessibility visionary by the Los Angeles Times, frequently speaking on DEI panels. So, in short, hindi basta-basta itong lawyer na kinuha ni Mr. Quinones. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce si Attorney Keith, Keith Gregory. Great, great, great Keith Gregory. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Ayan. Um, welcome, Ay, everyone. Ay, ka, On June 21, 2023, Huy Quinones' life changed when Claire Contreras posted on Bold Yak TV a video blog during which Ms. Contreras, who is also known as Mahalika, mm. made the following defamatory statements mm. about Mr. Quinones. Mm. <laughs> the budget of the Philippines is affected by this designer. It affects all your livelihoods. Mm. This fashion standard designer is taking away from your children and family's livelihoods. Mm. She also said, They, they're taking away from your family. A change in the Philippines is being prevented by Pui, the fashion scammer. She went on to say he is taking Filipino taxpayers' money. Ito yun. Yan yung plinay ko kanina, guys. Yung pinapaliwanag dito ni Mr. Attorney Keith, yan yung pinapa, pinapa, uh, pinilay ko lang kanina na nireaksyonan natin. Puska oh. ngayon, marali ka. Prohibit your life to get better. This is all because of this fashion scammer spending money for the people a designer. That's a scammer named Pui. Is a fraudulent fraudster thief. He steals you the think country. Keith, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, we can't see your face very well. Can you please fix your camera? Projector, shout out. And please, everyone, be on mute. Thank you. Is that better? <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Okay. Um. No, no, it's still, I'm sorry, excuse me. I want everyone to be able to see your face. Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt. You know what? You just see your forehead. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right, not in the one On all his products. And there's... Yeah. 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 Okay. Let me go on. He is taking another statement that Ms. Contreras made was that he is taking Filipino taxpayers' money. Okay. Prohibits your life to get better. This is all because of this fashion scammer. He's spending money for the people. 
A designer that's a scammer named Cooey is a fraudster thief. He steals the country's money over pricing that? on all his products. Hmm. And there's which is yan yung plinay natin kanina dito sa video na to. Yun ang sinabi ni Maharlika, di ba? Oh. Yan yung mismo. A punishment for that. She went on to say finally, it's a project on OFW's money was given to Pui and there was no project. Pui took all the money from this. Pui took all the proceeds from the Filipino artist project. What a useless designer Pui is. OFW's all their hard work Pui stole. Pui is an OFW. Ms. Contreras falsely claimed that Ms. Mr. Quinones' designs are counterfeit, Did not his own, and that he's been scamming the people of the Philippines by swindling the first lady who he dresses. Mm. Ms. Con- Mr. Ms. Contreras' false claims are based on a one-time occurrence that happened over a decade ago and have long since been resolved. Tama. But- yun yun eh. 2011 eh. Yung sinabi niya kanina. 2011, kung naalala nyo guys, kanina-kanina lang. Diba yun ang sinabi ni, ni ano? At allegation yun. It's a allegation. Diba? Hindi kaso yun. Pero ginamit niya against dito. Oh, kaya natin. Following that episode in Mr. Quinones' career, he shortly thereafter reestablished himself as a respected fashion designer with notable clients in the United States, the Philippines, and worldwide. Claire Contreras is a stranger to Pui Quinones. Yes, di niya yan. The two have never met, they've never spoken. These accusations by Ms. Contreras, these false accusations, these defamatory statements, have greatly impacted Mr. Quinones, his business, his reputation, and his life in Manila and in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Kung di ba naman tangat, kung di ba naman tangat kalahati ito si Maharlika, kilala to si Mr. Puwi dyan sa Los Angeles, binanggit na nga kung sino yung mga kliyente, binanggit kung sino yung mga artist na nagsusuot ng kanyang mga designer piece na ginagawa, kung sino yung mga artist na nagpapagawa ng damit sa kanya. Tapos dyan mo pasisiraan sa Los Angeles, dito pa sa California. <laughs> di ba? nagbahamagaling kasi. 'Di ba? At ito nga eh, ito ah, I will be very very direct doon sa mga viewers ni Maharlika. Guys, ang tatanga niyo talaga. Pasensya na po. Ang tatanga at ang bobobo niyo. Na naniniwala kayo diyan sa babaeng 'yan. Pati yung mga DD shit na rin naniniwala diyan. Isa pa yung mga 'yon. Hindi lahat, yung iba lang. Hindi ko nila lahat. May matitinong DDS, pero yung karamihan Naniniwala dyan. Diba? Isipin mo, ginas yan ng SMNI. <laughs> oh my God! Ah, Miu, shout out sa'yo ha. Carmelita Shokilo po. O'Neal, shout out sa'yo. Tuloy natin to. Through counsel, as a result of these defamatory statements, sent Every a cease and shout out. desist letter to Ms. Contreras demanding that she do the following. Immediately remove the video containing the defamatory statements about Mr. Quinones mm. off any and all of her online platforms. Immediately publish a retraction and correction of the defamatory video on all her online platforms. And provide Mr. Quinones with prompt written assurances that Ms. Contreras would cease and desist from making any further defamatory statements concerning Mr. Quinones' character and reputation. Unfortunately, Ms. Quinones, Mr. Ms. Contreras, ignored the cease and desist letter. See that? <laughs> She didn't respond to it? See that? Pinadala na lang cease and desist letter. Una, pinapatanggal yung in-upload niyang video. Pangalawa, humingi ka ng patawad at i-retract mo yung mga sinabi mo. Pangatlo, mag-promise ka na hindi mo na idadama yung pangalan niya. Inignore ni Buratit, ni Buratit, ni Buratitat. 
yung hiniling, isip mo, binigyan pa ng pagkakataon. Binigyan pa ng pagkakataon. Ni Mr. Puwi, itong si Maharlo ka. Pero sa kapal ng muka, sa tingin niya, untouchable siya. Inignore niya. O, tapos ka ngayon. <laughs> She didn't say anything about it. Instead, She just ignored it, oh. leading Mr. Quinones to file a complaint against Ms. Contreras in the Superior Court of California, Pataiga, County of Court. Los Angeles, for defamation. Oh. Since the filing of the complaint, we have attempted on numerous occasions to serve Ms. Contreras with the summons and complaint in that action, and Ms. Contreras has abated service. Patay. So all those efforts have been unsuccessful. Mm. Mr. Quinones has suffered damages as a result of Ms. Contreras' defamatory statements as he's lost various clients and business opportunities. Exactly, yeah. Our next steps are as follows. What we need to do is we need to get Ms. Contreras served either personally or by substituted service, or if it gets, if, if she's completely evading service, then by publication. Hindi, ito, ito ang, ito ang, <laughs> isipin nyo, ha, dalawa kaso sa kanya, si Abel, kinasuhan siya sa United States, sa so dito California, ayan, si uh, Mr. Poe, kina, kinasuhan siya. Ngayon, hindi na maglalalabas lalo yan. <laughs> Hindi maglalalabas siya. Alam niyo kung bakit? Once na iserve sa kanya yung supina, patay siya. Kailangan niyo umapir sa korte. Ini-evade niya eh. So lalabas yan, baka mamaya nakamaskara yan, a-avoid niya yung mga tao, ma-avoid siya pupunta sa madaming tao, di ba? O kaya sa bahay na lang. Kasi madalas lalabas yan, magbablog eh. Nakikita niyo pa bang ganun yan? Na naglalive yan, na naka, naka, nasa labas? Hindi na. Kasi si Sir Ban siya. <laughs> you are on sector. Oh. With an order from the Superior Court. Once served, Ms. Contreras will have 30 days in which to respond to the complaint. 30 days. Our plan is to take this case to trial so that Mr. Quinones can get his day in court with a judgment in his favor establishing that Ms. Contreras defamed him. Our goal is to assist Mr. Quinones in restoring his reputation yes. and recovering the damages that were caused by Ms. Contreras. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Um, I would like to open the floor to questions uh, from the media, and this way we can provide further clarification and uh, address any inquiries regarding this case only. When you do ask your question, uh, please do unmute, obviously, and everybody else, please stay muted and wait. Uh, and also, please tell Red us your name. Out. In case it's not showing on here, and also from what media outlet you are uh, from. And you can raise your virtual hand on Zoom, and Sophia will call on you. Mm -hmm. So, under reactions, you can raise your hand, and we will call on you. Okay, the, uh, I see a hand from uh, Saksi Yuan. Yuan? Saksi. <laughs> Please ask your question and identify which media outlet you are with. At meron dito mga media na, na, na based sa Los Angeles. May mga media at personal dito na based sa Los Angeles at based din sa mga iba-ibang media outlet sa Pilipinas. Itong nangyaring press ko na to. Yes, hello, good morning. I am Daniel Asido from Saksi Ngayon. Ayan, Saksi Ngayon. Uh, I just want to ask uh, Attorney Keith uh, regarding the timeline of the case. Can you give us a timeline of the case when did you file the first season disease order and yeah they take it from there yeah thank you sure thank you um the complaint was filed last month uh we um mm -hmm. we have been attempting to serve miss Quinone miss miss Contreras for about 
20 days since then. We haven't been successful yet. Um, if we continue not to be successful, we will file a motion with the court um, for an order to be able to serve her by publication. Uh, that process takes about 45 days. Mm -hmm. Once she's served by publication, she will then have 30 days in which to respond. Um, we have a status conference scheduled in this case, I think in uh, June. Um, after, at that time, the court will either set the case for trial if, the, um, if Ms. Contreras has responded to the complaint. Mm -hmm. If not, the court and, and Ms. Contreras has been served, then the court will order us to seek Ms. Contreras' default, Yes, which we will do. And then we will take her default judgment and we'll have to have a prove up hearing, which would probably take place sometime in the fall. And if the case ended up where Ms. Contreras responded to the complaint and we had to have a trial, I would expect the trial to take place sometime probably spring or summer of 2025. That's how long it's taking yeah. now to get cases through the Superior Court in Los Angeles. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh yeah, na Maharlika, 2025, meron ka pang chance. <laughs> Magpabago ka na lang muka. <laughs> the next hand I see is Eduardo Dural. Shooter, Wait, oy, yeah, shooter, shout out sa'yo. Uh, so you can be showing the, uh, the case. Uh, I'm having a difficult time hearing you. So I'm asking if uh, the U.S. has jurisdiction over the case uh, you find here in America over, over the Philippines. I'm sorry, but it's very difficult to hear you, Mr. Durrell. Is there a way that you could go on a Turn your volume up or something. Sikat na sure. sikat. You know what, um, Eduardo? Sikat na sikat yung mga nasa kabilang parlor, no? Yung mga DDS. Yung mga... May mga kaso. <laughs> Isipin nyo yun. Yung mga supporters sa kabilang parlor, may mga kaso. Tebes, kaso. Bantag, may kaso. Maharlika, may kaso. Kibuloy, may kaso. <laughs> Powerhouse. <laughs> Powerhouse. Diyos ko po. Hindi ko sinasabing guilty ha. Baka sabihin nyo, sinabi ko, no, no. May kaso. <laughs> Yung isang bulaang vlogger, may kaso din. <laughs> Kaya pala sikat na sikat kayo. O yung isa dyan, may kaso din. Isang vlogger dyan, may kaso din. <laughs> Tama yan, magsama-sama kayong may mga kaso. Pues <laughs> share from this one. Mas ko po, isipin niyo yun ah. Ang mihira. <laughs> o may manyakis din na vlogger. <laughs> Kaya, kaya talaga sikat na sikat kayo. Na, Diyos ko po. <laughs> Tuloy natin to. Your question if you like in the chat. Mm. All right. All right. Yeah. Like Tama. Si Digong waiting for ICC. It, it, it sound like you're a little underwater. Sorry. Right. Please, yeah, please, type, please type your message in the chat. We will go on to the next speaker. Kaso and group then sabi natin Jerry Lee Okay. okay. The next. The next question I'm seeing is, uh, hand is from Val Gonzalez. Please go ahead. Val Gonzalez, would, uh, I see your hand is raised. Would you like to ask the question? <laughs> you are still on mute, Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. or Mrs. Gonzalez. Um, Hindi na sa sagot yeah, Ito na, ito na. Si Pahinga na lang natin si Poy. Poy, is there something that you would like to say? Ayan si Poy, ayan si Poy. Hi, uh, good morning. Ito. Oh, yes, yeah. so we go ahead and then we'll go to Sai. Sai, you had a question. 
Go okay. ahead. Okay. Well, I just want to, you know, it, it took me a while to really think about pushing this case because, you know, as much as possible, I don't want trouble. I don't like stress because I had stress enough already with my, with, you know, my life, work and all that. But I feel like the, the, the black of Harlika really affected me. Um, in business. See that? Nagdalawang isip pa siyang ituloy itong kaso. Kasi nga marami na siyang problema. Pero nga, naapektuhan siya emotionally, especially in business siya, kahit ako eh. Kung ako yan, ganyan, kakasuhan ko talaga yan. Not only business, but also mentally. Hmm, okay um, I've been, I got really, really depressed after that happened and I feel traumatized about that what she has said and I can't believe someone will accuse me of, you know, uh, scamming the people in the Philippines and uh, uh, participating or involving me and the First Lady as, as cameras and it's just absurd because mm -hmm. uh, and I just I, I just can't comprehend people like that that would issue a statement without verifying facts and doesn't even think you know how it will affect someone's life especially you know not only not only the business but my mental health um, because of that, I've been taking antidepressant and anxiety See, because walang, I, just, I just couldn't... Walang niya talaga to si Maharlika. Walang pakialam yan. Kaya makakarma yan. Makakarma talaga yan. As in, susut yan sa banga. Ibig ko sabihin doon, ma maaano yan. Dito, ito, ano, tanda natin, ang civil case po dito, fine. Hindi kito criminal case. Fine to. So, makapag mayroon damages na kinuha, humihingi siya ng damage na 2 million dollars, parang si Avel, humihingi si Avel ng 2 million dollars na damage. Ganun din to si ano, si Poy. Humihingi din siya ng damages dito. 'Di ba? Pero ipo-porso nila 'yan. It's been hard really for the past few months. Um, uh, it it was hard. So it was important for you to stand up for yourself and, yeah. to, see, and to seek counsel that yeah. could go to the courts on your behalf mm -hmm. so that this injustice would not continue. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you know, for once, I just want this evilness stop and demonyo eh. justice. Hindi, tsaka, uh, what she yung mga nasa kabalang parlo, said, mga demonyo. <laughs> Demonyo pag-uugali. Demonyo. Isipin nyo, gustong pabaksakin ng gobyerno. Pinapagresan si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Inaakosahan na drug addict. Inaakosahan ng first lady. Inaakosahan ang, ang speaker of the house, si Martin Tramualdez. Inaakosahan tayong bayaran na vlogger. Diba? Inaakosahan ng kung ano-ano. Dinadamay yung mga nakapaligid sa first family. Diba gawain lang ng demonyo yun? Tapos yung isa doon, nagpapakilalang anak ng Diyos. Diba? <laughs> yung isang abogado, mananampal ng babae. Ano ka, bakla? Glenchong? Si Glenchong, di ba? Si attorney Glenchong, sasampalin daw niya si first lady. Bakla ka ba? Para manampal ng babae? Ha? Yan, ang, yan ang mga DD shit. Yan ang pag-uugali nila. Di ba? Kunyari, may pinag-aralan pero talagang ugali masahol pa sa poso negro. Isipin nyo ito, wala naman, wala naman tong kinalaman. Is, idadamay nila tong tao na nag-ahanap buhay, na gumawa ng pangalan. Italuyo niya yung pangalan niya sa fashion industry tapos sisirain lang ng isang lokalokang babae. Hmm. Di ba? O ngayon, kaso ka. So, eto yung tanong ko kanina. Okay? Punta muna tayo dito. Tinanong ko siya kanina. Okay? Regarding dito sa kaso. Kung, kung 
ipupursu niya ba to kung gusto ba niya ng, kung hihingi ba si, si Maharli ka ng settlement, pakinggan niyo sagot nila. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the next question that has um, hand raised from Music and Topic TV. That's me. Hi, uh, my first question is to uh, for Mr. Puri. The second question will be to Tony Kita. Mr. Puri, are you willing to settle if Maharlika asks for settlement? Are you willing to settle? Are you willing to pursue the case against you? Uh, we really want to pursue the case oh, because I think justice is needed and uh. I deserve justice on what she's done. You know, uh, I don't want other people to get hurt by what she just keep telling people without Checking. See that? Hindi makikipag-settle si Poy. <laughs> so kahit humingi ka pa, lumuhod ka pa, maharli ka, hindi siya makikipag-settle. Ipupurso niya yung kaso sa'yo. <laughs> And because it, she only not destroys um, relationships, businesses, but I think for me, it's The mental health is very important right now, which is affects me and I deserve just understand it. Because I think justice is needed and I deserve justice of what she's done. You know, uh, I don't want other people to get hurt mm. by what she just keep telling people without fact checking and Because it, she only not destroys um, relationships, businesses. But I think for me, it's the mental health is very important right now, which is, affects me and I'd probably other people that she has been uh, victimized. Thank you. Uh, for Mr. Katoni Kate, Katoni Kate, what happened Paisa. if Maharlika or Claire Eden Contreras? move to another state that California have a different law in that state. Are you still willing to pursue, pursue her? Or what's going to be the option for you? So, Or, sure, so ang a... tanong ko kanina, naintindihan mo siguro, paano kung ito si Maharli ka pumunta ng ibang state? Kasi dito guys, ang civil case for example, ako, may kaso for example, pumunta ako sa ibang state, hindi mag a doon yung kaso ko. This is my understanding. Kung meron ditong abogado, correct me if I'm wrong. So unless na i-check, kung may outstanding warrant of arrest ka, I think mag a lang yan pag criminal. That's my understanding. Pero sa civil, hindi. So ngayon, tinanong ko to kasi kung ano magiging option nila kung sakasakaling pumunta to ng ibang state, pumunta ng ibang bansa, or even umuwi ng Pilipinas. Okay? Pakinggan nyo ang sasagot ni Atty. Kit, yung abogado, Mr. Poy. Pakinggan nyo. Very good question. However, because... Litin natin ha. Well, sir, that's a very good question. However, because Ms. Contreras Mahalika made the statements on a platform while being in Los Angeles, the California courts have jurisdiction over her. <laughs> It doesn't matter that she's moved to a different state. She still has to defend this action here in California. And even if she went back to the Philippines or move to a different country, another country, she would still have to defend the, this action in California because the damage was caused and was done in California. Mm. Thank you. That's so, important to ask the question, so, even if she goes to the country, they will pursue this case. They will kill si Maharlika. So, I think that si Maharlika is here, what time is here? 11 o'clock. E baka nagbubunot na to ng buhok sa ilong at nai-stress na. Kinasuhan na naman ako. <laughs> Ngayon, humingi ka na ng blessing kay pastor. Humingi ka. Magpadasal ka na. Humingi ka ng access papunta sa ilalim ng lupa. Maharli ka. Kung sino man ang kailangan mong tawagan, tawagan mo. <laughs> Call a friend. ba diba? Lifeline. <laughs> Kasi, obviously, hindi ka nila tatantanan. Gaya ng ginagawa mo sa mga first family at kung sino-sinong personalidad na hindi mo tinatantanan sa kapake news mo, hindi ka rin nila tatantanan. Pasok na pasok ka for sure. Kahit saan ka magpunta, ipupursu ka nila. 
So, pasensyahan tayo. <laughs> may, may tanong sa Ate Trixie. At tanong sa DJ Byron, bakit ngayon lang siya nagsampa ng kaso? Kanina, Ate Trixie, nagsabi sila na ipatake down ni Maharlika. Months na. I-take down ni Maharlika yung video, i-retract yung mga sinabi, or i-balik yung, kung sa baga, i-deny yung mga sinabi, humingi na apology, at mag-promise na hindi na siya pag-uusapan. Kaso, hindi niya sinagot. In-ignore lang. O ngayon, ngayon, kaya nga nandun pa yung video, eh, na-reaction ang ko, kasi hindi niya talaga tinanggal. O ngayon, nandyan na. So, pinursun na lang itong kaso. O di tapos ka ngayon, Di ba? Oh. Tingnan natin ngayon ang tapang mo. Dalawa na ang kaso mo. Di ba? Kaso kinasuhan ka ni Abel, kinasuhan ka pa nito, dalawang fashion designer. Si Mr. Puy, hindi po basta-basta like what I said sa mga bagong pasok. Ang mga kliyente niya hindi basta-basta. Hollywood actors, actresses, di ba? Mga mga uh, international artists like Katy Perry. Elizabeth McCartney binihisan niya di ba? kilala siya sa Los Angeles community sa fashion industry di ba? Oh. lumabas siya sa America Next Top Model so talagang pasok ka sa banga at ngayon like what I said ulitin natin ano sabi nila ulitin natin ha? yung talanong ko ha? ulitin natin oh. Uli- it's from music and topic TV oh, ulitin natin Hi, uh, my first question is to, uh, for Mr. Puri. The second question will be to Tony Kita. Uh, Mr. Puri, are you willing to settle if Maharlika asks for settlement? Are you willing to settle? Are you willing to pursue the case against you? Uh, we really want to pursue the case because I think justice is needed and I deserve justice of what she's done. You know, uh, I don't want other people to get hurt by what she just keep telling people without fact checking and because it she only not destroys um, relationships businesses but I think for me it's the mental health is very important right now which is affects me and I probably other people that she has been uh, victimized thank you uh, for Mr. Katoni Kate Katoni Kate What happened if Maharlika or Claire Eden Contreras moved to another state that California have a different law in that state? Are you still willing to pursue, pursue her or what's going to be the option for you? Well, sir, that's a very good question. However, because Ms. Contreras, Maharlika, made the statements on a platform while being in Los Angeles, the California courts have jurisdiction over her. It doesn't matter that she's moved to a different state. Mm. She still has to defend this action here in California. And even if she went back to the Philippines mm. or moved to a different country, another country, she would still have to defend the, this action in California because the damage was caused and was done in California. Mm. Oh, thank you. That's all true. Thank you. Uh, see that? <laughs> So, kahit saan ka magtago, Maharlika, ka, wala kang lusot. <laughs> diba? Kahit saan siya magpunta, wala kang lusot. Hahabuli ka na itong mga to. Naku po. May stress. Baka makalbo ka niyan. Hindi, baka makalbo siya na ito, guys. Honestly. Totoo lang. <laughs> Janet Santi, shoutout. Bagong Filipino, shoutout. Baka makalbo ka, Maharli ka. Hindi ka tatantanan. <laughs> Kahit saan ka magpunta. Ahabulin ka. Ayan o, dalawa na. Yung nagkaso sa'yo at yung abogado, ipupursue ka nila. Ahabulin ka. Umu, hindi ka naman makakawin ng Pilipinas. Kinasawa ka ni, 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 ano, ni Katon Ying doon. <laughs> Di ba? Saan ka pupunta? Punta mo si CD Gong. Mag-text ka na. Mag-back, ano ka? Mag, ano tawag doon? Back. Ano tawag doon? Backyard? Ano ang tawag doon? Yung term? Backdoor. Papunta sa China. Pumunta ka doon. O, baka doon hindi ka maano. Ma... Pero doon ka na. <laughs> Di ba? Doon ka na. O. Jeff Bornilla, shout out sa'yo. O, paano gagawin mo yan? 
Parli ka. Oh. Di ba? Oh. Siguro na pa ngay siguro na papamura to ngayon. <laughs> Ngayon, sa China ka gumawa ng ganyan ang krimen, ang China, ang China, yayariin ka din. ba? Diba? Kasi nandun ka sa bansa nila, gumagawa ka ng cyber crime. <laughs> Binabiolate mo yung batas nila. So, wala ka ng takas. Mali na yung tanong ko sa abogado, mali na yung tanong ko dun sa nagkaso sa'yo. I-purpose ka nila. He want justice, he deserve justice para wala ka nang masaktan. Ngayon, dalawa naman yung kaso mo eh. Dalawa os, dalawa choices mo. Para kang si ano ha, si Pastor Kibuloy. Ha? The, the more the merrier. <laughs> e si mo si Pastor ha. Again ha, hindi ko sinasabing guilty si Pastor dito. Magkalinawagan tayo. Si Pastor may kaso sa Amerika dito. At may kinasuhan din sa Pilipinas. Si Maharlika, may kaso dito, dalawa, may kaso din sa Pilipinas. Talaga ang mga DDS. ba? Diba? Same birds, the same feathers, go to jail together. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> biro lang. Biro lang yun. Biro lang yun. Pero bakit ganun? Parang nagpapadami yata kay ng kaso. <laughs> si Tebes, si Bantag, nagpapadamihan kayo? Ano ba? Competition ba to? Si, si si Digong. Di ba? Nagkukompetensya ba kayo? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi nila matitake down yung channel eh. Nakalimutan ko itanong yan eh. Ah, ito may nagtanong si Cypro. May nagtanong. Si Cypro nandyan eh. Nagulat nga ako nandyan si Cypro eh. Team Losut sila, di ba? <laughs> Ito, ito, ito si Cypro. Pakinggan yung tanong ni Cypro. Tapos pupunta na tayo sa susunod kong topic, yung interview ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Ito na. Si Cypro nandito eh. Mahalika. Ito, ito. I'm not sure if this is still relevant about uh, the case. Pakinggan nyo ito. Uh, about uh, Mahalika. But I just want to clarify if if Uh, she will be convicted on uh, this uh, case, uh, be uh, dealt guilty. Will this also include her entire um, uh, social media accounts be diminished and will prohibit her to uh, show up on, on other social media? The point here is if you will observe on all of her contents, live streamings or blogs, <laughs> All of them, it's not only about uh, Sir Puig uh, and is here, who has this uh, kind of uh, contents that she's making. And all of her contents has no basis and evidence at all. Uh, it just so happens that Sir uh, Sir is here, is the one who filed the case against her, but actually she has a lot of victims. All of her subject on her contents are really into like, the same uh, worst case scenario as uh, Sir Poo. Pwede ba yan, Banat Boy? <laughs> Pwede bang slogan yan? <laughs> so, um, I, I just like to clarify if will this include her uh, entire capability or authority to show up on social media or to create another account whether this uh, current account that she has right now filled with this uh, libelous uh, contents, if we may say, will be uh, prohibited as, uh, as well in public. But that's all. Thank you for that question. And and that's a, a very interesting question. And unfortunately, um, her platforms will not be taken off the air. Yeah, that's a sad part. Um, however, it is my understanding that this is not the first action that was filed against Ms. Contreras. There is another action that was filed against her by someone who's living in the Philippines in the federal court in Los Angeles. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> hopefully what these actions will do is that they will have an effect on Ms. Contreras to cause her that if she wants to uh, publish these videos, that she'll only tell the truth on those videos. 
Because as you said, there are other victims. And those other victims would have the same rights as Mr. Quinones to file a defamation action against her. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the standing as far that's in that's the response to your question. Nakalimutan kong itanong dito kung pwede ba siyang pwede ba nilang i-summon ng YouTube or as YouTube or Google because of itong si Maharlika ay gumagawa ng mga fake news at um, naninira ng individual. Baka pwede nilang sulatan ng Google para ma-take down o ma-ban na to si Maharlika sa paggamit ng YouTube or Google account, even Facebook. Tatanungin ko kay kaibigan ko, abogado, baka may ganyan na case or pwede nilang gawin yan. Kasi may kaibigan ako, abogado, nasa defamation din, nasa ganyan. Um, nasa, uh, tawag dito, nasa also criminal, criminal uh, lawyer. So, tatanungin ko. Kasi maganda, yun lang nakalimutan kong tanong eh, kung pwede nilang sulatan ng Facebook or yung YouTube para itong individual na to ma-take down na yung channel, maban na siya at hindi na siya pwedeng makagawa ng mga account para makapanira. Kasi ang sinisiraan niya, hindi naman basta-basta individual eh. Isipin mo, kinasukan siya ng dalawang fashion designer. ba diba? Hindi basta-basta. Sayang, di ko natanong eh. Pero sa tingin ko, baka mamaya meron. Okay? Oh. I hope that clarifies things for you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I am going to go into... Oh. Yeah, I think I can answer. Sure. I think because, um, you know, I work with, uh, you know, the first family, I designed her clothes and also uh, the president. So I guess he, he thinks I'm associated to them and maybe he doesn't like the family and then I guess thinks he wants to involve me and the and he just want to hurt me probably my my integrity and my credibility because I'm associated to the first family by designing them I'm just just making you know clothes and I have no other um, agendas but just to make beautiful dresses for her to look good so that's it so and I think because I'm I was one of the first fashion designer who did a fashion show inside the uh, the Golden Bird Mansion compound last May and mm -hmm. I think that's one of the reasons and I think I'm re I'm you know and um, for me, you know, I, I'm actually that project of the first lady is a very helpful in our industry as a fashion designer because in the Philippines there's no real platform for us designers to showcase our our pieces. Yeah, that's true. Which is I agree. He did he did not understand people that fashion is a multi million industry if that's you true. take it seriously. And you know we are here to help not only the economy, but also the weavers in the Philippines. So that was the goal of the show. And there's no anything negative or hidden agenda for that show to make, because it's all about helping the community and actually giving livelihood to weavers and showcasing the Filipino talent as you know a world-class talent. Mm -hmm. And I I couldn't fathom the fact that that her statements become it becomes an scamming and scamming people in the Philippines and I, I couldn't I don't understand it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the next question that has um, hand raised from Music and Topic TV. Okay, my first. Okay, na so so ayo na guys ah, as as um. Punta na tayo sa sunod topic pero ito po yung latest na asunto ngayon ni Maharliga na kinasuhan siya na isang sikat na fashion designer, international, world-renowned international fashion designer na si Mr. Poy. ba diba? So ngayon, sabi ko nga, eh, good luck na lang sa'yo. Ngayon, ngayon for sure, kailangan na kailangan mo ng budget. So, 
yung kung sino man ang kumukumpa sa iyo kung meron man nagtatanong lang ako eh, I think you need to call them call them now as for guidance as for budget as for lawyers you need that Marlika kailangan mo ng kailangan mo ng lawyer na magaling <laughs> at number one, kailangan mo ng pera na hindi ka maubusan eh walang pro bono pag ikaw ang kinasuhan walang pro bono so paano ngayon yan magbabayad ka ng abogado dito hindi lang isa hindi lang dalawa di ba baka apat pa bakit eh pambihira si Abel kinasuhan ka tapos eto si Mr. Boy kinasuhan ka rin o di alam mo dalawa lang i-hire mo <laughs> di ba so yung mga kaibigan mong didi shit hingan mo ng tulong ngayon ka ngayon magmagaling ngayon ka ilabas mo ngayon yung tapang mo di ba pinaliit mo yung mundo mo sinira mo yung sinira mo yung yung alam mo sira ka naman na dati pa pero sini, baka mamaya talaga just ko po ma- mawalan ka ng trabaho malaman nilang may kaso <laughs> although wala namang ganun dito di ba humingi ka ng tulong kay, kay, kay pastor yan sabi mo pastor um, eto sabi niyo uh, sabi ni pastor ay nay 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 tapos na yan eh ito 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 sabi ni pastor dito Ayan, hingin mo to. Humingi ka dito. Dali ah. Isishare ko lang to para hingin mo yung diamond na, na diamond na doorknob. <laughs> humingi ka ng access sa diamond na doorknob. Ito, ito, ito. Hingi ka ng access. Ito. Pahinga mo. Lalo na kung pumunta kayo sa langit na kasama ko. Oh, pumunta ka sa Lalo langit na kasama si Pastor. Lalo na kung nakita niyo yung ko doon. Oh, sasabihin ko sa inyo. Mansion ko doon. Ilang beses ko nang pinuntaan yun. Hmm. Ang doorknob ko doon, tayo mo. Oh, yan. Narinig mo si Pastor. Oh. ba? Diba? Humingi ka ngayon ng tulong. Para at least, ba? Diba? Doon mo makikita yung talagang that's what, that's what friends are for. <laughs> eh, kaso hindi ka nila kaibigan. Sa tingin ko lang, para hindi, hindi ka nila, hindi ka nila tutulungan. Eh, sila nga may problema eh. <laughs> Ay, nako, Marley ka. Oh, wawa ka naman. O kaya dito, hingi ka ng tulong dito. Oh, ito, ito, ito. Hingi ka tulong dito. Ito, ito. Hingi ka tulong dito. Ito, ito, ito. Ayan, si Takoli. 20 million. Ang lamang, ang lamang. Ayan, ayan, lamang ko ang pinag-uusapan. Lamang ang pinag-uusapan dito. Takoli. Ganyan ang, ganyan ang nakikita ko. O, oh, sige. Pagka hindi, ipakakain ko yung sinasabi mo. <laughs> hingi ka ng tulong yan. Di ba, tropa mo yan? <laughs> Ay, lako, mabira. Janet Santi, shout out sa'yo. Yan, hingi ka, ng, hingi ka ng tulong. You need that. Actually, you really need that right now. Especially, pambihira, maharlik at 4 million dollars. Hiningi ni Abel, 2 million dollars. Ang hiningi ni Mr. Pui, 2 million dollars din. di ba? Baka sabihin ng iba, eh, fake news ka DJ, no? Ayan yung conference kanina, oh. Nirecord ko po yan. Kaso pag nagre-record ka sa Zoom, hindi mo ma- hindi mo ma- ano, hindi mo maririnig yung pinag-uusapan. Ayan kami, ang dami namin. Ang dami namin kanina. Kaya nga yung ibang vlogger, nagulat ako, eh. Sabi ko, pambihira, may ibang vlogger dito. 65 po ang, ang ano dyan, ang um, tawag dito, ang attendees. Ayan ako, oh. Ayan. <laughs> di ba? So, 65. So, kaso, eh, wala eh. <laughs> so, dito na tayo. Puntahan na natin. Again, ha? Bagong kaso. Fresh na fresh. Fresh na fresh si Maharlika. Fresh na fresh na kaso from California. Asking damage, 2 million dollars. <laughs> Padami yung bakay ng kaso. Diyos ko naman. Huwag naman ganun. Huwag naman sanang ganun. Di ba? Mukhang nagpapadami yan kayo ng kaso. Ha, Marley ka? O, dito na tayo sa interview ni Ferguson kay Pangulo Bongbong Marcos. Ngayon ko lang ito re-reactionan eh, pero two weeks ago na to, tapos may isa pa siyang interview. Bigyan din natin ng reaction. 
dito natawa si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos dito sa abog, uh, abogado sa um, journalist na to sa mga tanong. Maganda yung unang baksakan ng tanong eh. Pero yung pangalawan yung mga susunod ng tanungan eh para mang bira eto na naman. <laughs> Di ba? Ayun. Oh, okay. All right. So guys, sa mga hindi pa po nag uh, ano, nagta thumbs up diyan, pa thumbs up naman po. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga bago kong subscribers. Maraming maraming salamat. So pakinggan na natin tong interview ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa 7:30 dito kay Chef Ferguson. President Marcos was finally gone. The Marcos family looks set to return with the people's backing. Controversy still dogs the Philippines election, but there's no doubting who will be the next president. The son of the former Philippines dictator Ferdinand Marcos has secured a Yung naratibong dictator nandoon pa rin, no? talagang hindi na nawala, no. A saleable landslide victory. Philippines, amongst others, have overlapping territorial claims with China. Our sovereignty is sacred. We will not compromise it in any way. We are a sovereign nation. Chinese forces have frequently harassed the Philippine Coast Guard. We will not allow a single square millimeter of our maritime Yan rights to be, to be trampled. Yan ba ang weak? Di ba tinatawag nilang weak si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos? Yan ba ang weak? He will never surrender an inch of our territory in the West Philippine Sea. Not even an inch to the Chinese. Without, ah, without ano, declaring any war or provoking China to do something violently sa mga Pilipino. The Philippines now finds itself on the front line against actions that undermine regional peace erode regional stability, and threaten regional success. We will have every ASEAN leader here over the course of the next two days. It's very historic. President Marcos, welcome to 7.30. Thank you very much indeed. In your speech to the Australian Parliament, you use unusually strong language. Quoting your own pledge, you said, I will not allow any attempt by any foreign power to take even one inch mm. of our sovereign territory, we will not yield. Are you talking about not giving up Philippines territory in the South China Sea? Absolutely. See that? But uh, it, it is, <laughs> is my sworn... May stand. Tapos sasabihin nyo, weak? Baka si Digong ang weak. Tuwad lang ng tuwad. Bao lang ng bao sa kay, kay Xi Jinping. Bao lang ng bao yun sa Xi Jinping kay Xi Jinping. Eh. Bao, 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 bao. Bao lang tayo, bao. Bao tayo, bao. Diba? Isipin yung mga lepores siya, ganun din. ba diba? Bao ng bao. Tapos sasabihin niya si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ang week. <laughs> duty. And the sworn duty of uh, the entire government of, of the Republic of the Philippines to defend uh, the Constitution of the Philippines. And uh, the first article of the, public, of the Constitution is the definition of our territorial waters. You didn't name... China, either in your answer or in, mm. indeed in the speech that you gave to Australia, but it, it appears to be present um, in every security move that you make and indeed behind every speech that we've seen you make recently. How urgent a priority is it to counter the fast-growing military power of China? Well, it, it, we don't see it in those terms. We don't see, see it as countering the military power of any country whatsoever. Yeah, because that's not that's not the right word. Eh. You cannot counter when you say counter the military strength of another country. It's like you are showing na hey, this is my interpretation. Ah, na parang kaya namin yung ginagawa nyo. So it can be a provocative move from the Philippines, tiba. Kasi all we want is a freedom of navigation so West Philippine Sea and whatever is ours is ours. Di ba? Ganun lang yun eh. Kung ano ang meron sa atin, sa atin. Hindi naman natin kinukuha yung buo eh. It's just whatever na occupy ng economic um, EZZ. Exclusive Economic Zone. That's all we are asking from the Chinese. Nothing more, nothing less. 
It's merely the defense of our, of our territory. Yes. We have territorial conflicts with other countries, Malaysia, for example, and Vietnam. Tama. But we have come to an arrangement with them. Uh, Sige, hindi niyo napapansin, totoo yun eh. Meron, tayong, meron rin tayong territorial crimes Malaysia and Vietnam, pero umaabot ba sa ganito? Na nagkakaroon ng harassment, hinaharas, na, hinaharas tayo ng Malaysia and Vietnam? No, kasi may agreement eh. Yan ang, yan ang totoong ano, yan ang totoong solusyon. Magkaroon tayo ng agreement. Bilateral talks. Sundin mo both side, yung pinag-usapan natin pero hindi naman ginagawa ng China yan eh. Pinapaalis tayo because historically they're claiming sa kanila ang buong South China Sea. Oh. Ay ngayon, ang Pilipinas hindi na si si Digong si ang presidente. Of course, we're getting more ano We're getting more attention from the international community na sumaside sa atin. ba? Diba? Tapos sasabihin niyo, weak? And that, that none of the, not the, 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 to, to, to resolve any such conflicts peacefully. So, I mean, I'm right in saying that you don't have that capacity to resolve conflict with China in the same way. Do you actually have direct contact with the Chinese? We, we have se at several levels. Um, at several levels. In fact, in, to... In, uh, the, in January of last year, when I went to, to Beijing and I visited with uh, President Xi Jinping, that is what I proposed, a kind of hotline mm -hmm. between us so that if there is a message that needed to be sent from one president to another, we can be assured that that message will reach them. Uh, and we have sort of established there, there, there are several, there are several uh, area, uh, points of contact. Uh, at the ministerial level, certainly, and the sub-ministerial level as well. But do you have a personal line to President Xi? Not yet, I'm afraid. Let me just ask you this question. I want to come to the um, what it is that you want from Australia, because that's obviously one of the reasons for your visit and your speech, uh, as well as ASEAN. But um, the former president of the Philippines, Duterte, was making overtures to China, very strong ones. Have you decisively moved away from Chinese mm -hmm. influence and back yeah. into America's yeah. orbit. Well, I think we, it's important to make it very, very clear. Whatever the Philippines does, the Philippines does because it is in our interest, yes. not, not because it has been dictated upon us by anyone. Tama. Hindi ka mukha ng mga didisit. Kung ano ang gusto nila, yun dapat ang gawin ng Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Di ba? Kaya tingnan nyo, galit na galit yung mga yan. Kasi bakit? Dumikit tayo ngayon sa Amerika, which is before naman, nakadikit tayo. Before naman, kaibigan natin yan. Pero nung si Digong si ang naging presidente, dumistansya siya at dumikit siya sa China. Ang tanong ko dito, Papa Tiosharat, ang tanong ko dito, naging maganda ba ang pakitungo ng China sa mga fisher folks natin sa West Philippine Sea? No. Hindi lang natin nababalitaan kasi hindi binabalita sa media. Pero kung babalikan nyo, napakadaming diplomatic protest ang final natin sa China. Sobrang dami sa panahon ni Digong. Hindi natin nakikita yung mga video na pangaharas. At kung sinasabi nila wala naman ganun, eh, maluwag naman noon, hindi naman tayo nakaharas. Eh, bakit ka magpa-file ng diplomatic protest? At this, uh, diba? That's my question. Kung maluwag nung panahon ni Digong ang China sa mga mangisda natin, Why do you have to file a diplomatic protest? Daan-daan diplomatic protest. At ang iminasaryo natin doon, si Teddy Boy Luxin. Oh. Sino nakakalala nung guys? Press one. ba? Diba? Sasabihin maluwag, kalukuhan. Tayo maglukuhan dito. I don't think that your language that you used when you took office and the same language that you used uh, in the Australian Parliament uh, during your visit is a message to China about where, your where you believe your interests lie? Well, as I explained it to President Xi again, I said it's my duty. I took an oath to defend the Philippines. Yeah, ng totoong presidente. Who... Hindi yung yayakap ka pa sa bansa ng Pilipi na flag ng Pilipinas, mahal ko ang Pilipino, protektahan natin ang konstitusyon. E pambihira, protektahan ang konstitusyon, tapos pro-China? <laughs> Di ba? Pogo, problema, sakit sa ulo ang ginawa. Mas protektahan ng Pilipinas. Palokohan.
To help me in that regard, I must engage with them. Was your predecessor getting too close to China? Well, I think the situation between now and then is quite different. Um, and I'm sure he did what he, you know, what was in his judgment was uh, uh, the best. He did hew a little closer to China rather than the United States. Yes. But and maybe because things have uh, heated up a little bit. But we have a, we have a, we have a together with Australia, we have a visiting forces agreement with the United States and Australia. These are the only two countries that we have them with, and we have a mutual defense treaty with the United States, which has been. Uh, there for decades. How important is it from your point of view that Australia has chosen to acquire and build a fleet of nuclear-powered submarines? Well, I, that, that decision is, uh, is an Australian one. Do you support it? I support AUKUS, I support uh, the Quad, and, and I, I think that uh, uh, this just represents a, a, a stronger front yeah. in terms of maintaining the peace. Yes, and that's all, that's all it matters. I mean, for us, you know, we we don't want any conflict with any country. Kaya nga yung friends to all, enemy to none, it's still there. Na hindi maintindihan ng mga DDS yan. Bakit ba tayo lumalapit sa ibang bansa? Because of what China's doing. Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng gawin yan. Diba? Ano ba ang... At anyway, what's okay? Ano ba ang pinap, inaano ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos? Just peace. Peace lang naman eh. Stability and peace dyan sa West Philippines sa South China Sea. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's treat our fisherman, fisher folks same as you treat your Chinese fisher folks. Ganun lang naman ang inihingi natin eh. ba? Diba? Kaya nga, yung punto niya kanina, do we have any problem with Malaysia or Vietnam? We're also claiming some territories there same as Vietnam and um, Malaysia? Wala naman eh. O baka wala tayo nababalala. Pero wala. Because may kasunduan na nangyayari. Yun yung matinong kasunduan. Hindi yung kakausapin mo yung China. Tapos, iba yung sinasabi ng China, iba yung ginagawa nila. Ano yung mali? Uh, the, the maintaining the peace for in, in the South China Sea. It is a response really to, uh, to uh, uh, a, 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 um, a differing situation. A more dangerous, more risky situation than why we had it, before. Why is it more dangerous? Just explain. Because the, the, the potential for, for outright conflict is much higher now than it was before. And Amen. it uh, we worry in the Philippines because it could come from not, not a strategic decision by anyone saying, okay, we're going to war. But just by making some, some servicemen making a mistake or some action that's misunderstood. And that's that's why the the, the 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 ongoing attempt is always to try and you know lower the temperature, uh, ease down, ease ease up on the rhetoric, and and communicate and just continue to communicate. That's why you need the phone, the same phone. That's that's important. And then, kaya nga hindi ko maintindihan to China. Pino provoked na natin ang China by siting with the United States. Anong kabobohan yan? <laughs> Anong kabobohan yan? Ang gusto ng China, sila ang magdidikta kung sino lang ang pwedeng maging kaibigan ng Pilipinas. Yun ang diktador eh. Diktador moves yun eh. ba? Diba? Tapos, ia-allege ang Amerika na pinapainit ang sitwasyon sa West Philippine Sea o sa South China Sea. No! Kailangan namin yun eh. Kailangan ng Pilipinas yun eh. Para nga makita ng international community kung anong ginagawa nyo. <laughs> diba? Hindi nyo pwedeng diktahan ng neighboring ka. Ang Japan ba, nadidiktahan nila ng ganyan? No, they can't. Kasi ang Japan, papalag. And Japan also has a super power ano, um, defense system. Oh, tayo lang ang halos ginaganyan yan. India ginaganyan din nilang India. Pero ang India, hindi yan papayag. Papalag din yan. Di ba? Kasi kailangan natin yan eh. Kailangan na kailangan natin. We need friends that we can really lean on. Not because they are super power like United States. No. Pinapakita lang natin, etong ginagawa ng China na hindi nyo nakita for the past six years nung si Digong ang presidente. Chris Chevin, Kennedy had, right? <laughs> That's right, yes. Well, let me, let me try and understand what you, what, you, what, you might want, what you might want from Australia. 
Would you expect the Australian Navy to come to the defence of Philippines forces in the event of conflicts with China over disputed territory in the South China Sea? Well, I suppose if we are in a uh, we we are in a joint exercise or in a joint uh, uh, operation, uh, then perhaps the, that that would involve Australia in that. But we do not have any formal no. uh, agreement or treaty si. uh, in that regard, um, as we do with the. You know, I, itatalongin pa niya ng ano eh? Itatalongin pa ni Ferguson ng bakay ina expect mo na tumulong ang Australian Navy pag inatake kay ng China. <laughs> Hindi bobo si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. United States. How would you explain to Australians, to Australian servicemen or women, why they should potentially risk their lives in the aid of Philippines under pressure from China? Why do we belong there? Well, let me take, take us back to the Second World War, uh, where the uh, defense of uh, uh, Corregidor and Bataan, which, was the, uh, which were the, the outposts uh, that held, held out longest, but because of that, it delayed the invasion of Australia to the point that um, That's true. the Japanese never invaded Australia. And that, if we, can, if we can stop it at an early stage, nip it at the bud, as it were, then, the, then the, there's no need to, for it to, 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 uh, to grow into other areas, other regions. And hopefully, if we can, at, at best, as I said, uh, keep the peace in uh, in the South China Sea. That's that 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 will uh, that will be of great advantage to Australia because uh, the, the the peace is maintained. In, in relation to the former president, um, mm. it, it's clear from the outside that there's been some breakdown in the relationship. I mean, do you intend now to invite the ICC to the Philippines to conduct its investigation more? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ako lang sasagot. Yes, Pete Paolo Bongbong Marcos. Excuse me. De de de, biro na biro na. Pero maganda 'yung talo. Sige. Bully oh. into former president Duterte's murderous war on drugs. No, that would be a political move. It is, that's true. See that? And what we are uh we we Kita niyo kung gaano ka sincere si Pangulo Bongbong Marcos na ito 'yung eto yung sinasabi pa ulit-ulit ng naratibo ng mga DDS noon na hindi papapasukin ng ICC, hindi pinag-aaralan, hindi papapasukin na yan. O, tingnan nyo. May isang salita si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. It's, it, it, that's true. It's going to be a political move pag ginawa niya yun. Kasi alam niya, alam niya na makatina ang kamay ng ICC to prosecute si Digong, si Mau Diggs. Alam niya yun. Pero hindi niya gagawin kasi may isang salita siya at we're not member anymore of ICC. We, will, we do not play politics with jurisdiction and sovereignty. Yes. And the, the, position, the position that we've taken is that we do not recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC and we view it as a threat to sovereignty simply because the ICC is, uh, was formed uh, to conduct, uh, to, to provide justice to areas where there is no uh, there is no judiciary, where there is no court system, where Ama. there is no police, where there is no peace and order. And that's not the Philippines. Yep. And therefore, uh, I don't think that their investigations or their actions apply to the Philippines. See that? If it's not the ICC. It's a very direct answer. Di ba, Papa Cho? Stone Trooper, Gregorio Tan, Lord Mamroli Mawawag, Charlene Kim, Ate Weng. Very direct answer. Totoo yan eh. We have a working justice system. We have a police, we have peace and order, diba? We have a judiciary, we have a Supreme Court, we have our justice system working. Siyempre sa iba, ay hindi gumagana yan. Lalo na yung mga atraso. Pero it's working. So, ano ang magiging, ano ang magiging papel lang ICC sa atin pag pumasok? Sila ang magpo-prosecute dun sa mga taong kaila, uh, sa tingin nila kailangan i-prosecute? No! If Duterte need to be prosecuted, ang Pilipino lang ang mapwede mag-prosecute sa kanya. ba? Kasi nga, we do have a working justice system. Then who provides justice for the many thousands? I think the number is something like 
12 to 30,000 people who were killed in president former president Duterte's well, <laughs> war on drugs I, I, how do I, they get justice I think we can we we in the Philippines have a, as I said a functioning police force um, we have a, a functioning uh, judiciary and that uh, they they it is their responsibility to take care of that we have uh, we have made a great deal of progress in that regard where the many policemen have already been removed from service yes. because they've been found to be liable they 1000 uh, guys ha, tandaan nyo. last month lang yun 1000 na police servicemen ang natanggal sa pwesto at nakasuhan di ba cases have been filed uh, many are already in jail do you uh, think it adds up to justice for those people who lost their lives well what we try to do is to now go back to the families of those and, and see that perhaps um, uh, see what we can do to to make things right for them uh, as long as long as it can be shown of course that they were not actually involved in the drug trade um, uh, as I said very early on we, we're not interested in you know uh, uh, a small time uh, addict for example you know the addict you take them to the hospital you take them to rehab you uh, don't shoot them we don't we what we, we said uh, we oh, nyo yan, DDS <laughs> DDS narinig nyo ba yung sinabi nung reporter <laughs> Good. Taken enforcement as far as we can, mm. and it only gets you so far. Your father was overthrown by a people. Eto na, eto na yung tanong na tatawan ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, kasi at dito mapipikon tong reporter. Magkano yun? Revolution, and you are his only son. How do you resist the impulse to authoritarianism? I have no impulses to authoritarianism whatsoever. Stop it, you're telling me. Um, you know? I, I, the, we we have a good system going. We are, uh, uh, I think, we've learned to. Uh, we have a constitution that we have uh, uh, that that we have uh, gone by for the last uh, 36 years now. We are making, hoping, hoping to make some changes to it. Where's the Castillo shout out? Uh, no, I, 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 I have not felt any tug or, 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 or uh, uh, temptation to, to, yeah. to, to, to make it a more... It's like a gaslight question. Na parang gusto, tinatanong niya, how do you feel na parang gusto mo ba magstay sa power? Authoritarian system. <laughs> you have a, you're a, you've been a politician for a very long time. Mm. You have a, a very clear understanding of your country's history. And you obviously revere your father. I've seen you talk about him. Do you also understand the costs of his authoritarian rule to people in the Philippines? Parang parang siya sa we dik dictator eh. Ganon ganon naman yung ano niya ni ang ang other terminology, di ba? Well, uh, it was a very different sort of authoritarian rule. I think uh, when people think of an authoritarian rule, uh, it was. Uh, uh, non-participatory uh, whereas uh, I think uh, the version that uh, my father tried I know, to Anthony promote Paul, set up and actually practiced was very much uh, still uh, with the participation of all stakeholders uh, that were involved it was just a peace and order situation that, yes. that really dictated uh, the necessity for 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 the for the for the declaration of martial law let me just let me just understand the um make sure that we're talking about the same thing i think Am amnesty records that during that period see that 70,000 people were in see that see that <laughs> let me understand I'm, I'm, i want to make sure we're on the same page stupid question 34,000 tortured and 3,200 people killed of the numbers mm. and your father in an interview admitted that over 50,000 were detained. So I just want to ask you again, do you accept that there was a human cost oh, yes. to that rule? There always is. It was war. And uh, that... <laughs> the, 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 with, with war, president. Well, the death and destruction is inevitable. But this is a war not declared by the government of the Philippines. Exactly. This is declared a war, this war, these wars were declared on the government of the Tama. Philippines. And both of them were, uh, one was... Tama eh. Kaya nga nag, nag, ano, nag martial law eh. Because of the bombing, una, yung sa bombing ng Plaza Maranda. Marami, marami ganyan eh, di ba? Oh. Was, to, was to divide the country. Yes. And the other one was to 
uh, remove uh, the present uh, political system by um, armed struggle. There is one series of questions that, that um, comes up in relation to um, your, <laughs> your father's time, which is, um, it, which, which is of course, the question of corruption, which became wholly associated with the Philippines for a long period of time. I think contemporary court judgments acknowledge the atrocities that were committed, but also the plunder of the country's resources. Why wouldn't you want all of that money back in the hands of the Filipino people? Well, the... Tinan mo yung talong, ha? bakit daw hindi niya gustong maibalik yung pera na mga kinuha ng di o manong pamilya ni Pangulong Bongbo Marcos sa mga Pilipino? Tinan yung talong, bakit, bakit yun ang itatanong mo? Bakit sinabi ba niya na ayaw niya? Kaya tingnan yung sagot dito ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, barado siya. <laughs> natawa siya oh. The, 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 the... Diba natawa eh? Kasi nakakata... Isipin niyo, ulitin natin yung tanong ah. Why ah? Sabi niya, why don't you want... Time, which is, um, which, which is of course the question of corruption which became eh. wholly associated with the Philippines for a long period of time. Ayan niyo. I think contemporary court judgments acknowledge the atrocities that were committed but also the plunder of the country's Ma'am Gina, resources. Ma'am 31, shout out po sa inyo ha. Hello, nakikita ko po yung message niyo. Shout out po sa inyo. Pasensya na, hindi ko po kayo na shout out. Pero shout out po kay Ma'am Gina 31. Shout out. Why wouldn't you want all of that money back why in the hands of why the don't Filipino you want, people? Why don't you want all that money back to the Filipino people? St- what a stupid question. <laughs> Parang DDS to. DDS ba to? Ha? <laughs> Kaya natawa si Pangulong Bogbo Marcos tapos may insulto tong reporter. Pakinggan nyo. Well, we... <laughs> the, 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 the narrative... I mean, may I just ask you Ayan why no. that's funny? Where that? Why that's funny. I'm asking you a question about the plundering of... <laughs> Nakakatawa naman kasi yung talong mo. Ang talong mo naman kasi bakit hindi niya gusto... Ibalik yung perang nakuha. Meron ba siyang sinabing gano'n? <laughs> yeah! For shiz and diz. Halibal eh. Halibal <laughs> yun talaga. Pakigay siya kung di pa ulubog mong Marcos dito. Large sums of money no, from the I'm Filipino thinking, people. I'm thinking that that maintains, that that idea maintains because it, yes. uh, we, we, I, I take exception to many, many of the, of the uh, uh, assertions that have been made. And I think in, we have been, we have, we have uh, since the cases were filed, the government fell. Cases were filed against me, my family, my, my the estate, etc. And up to now, uh, we have, uh, they, the assertions that were made, we have shown to be untrue. See Quite that? a lot of money. I think five billion was already recovered. I, I guess the question is mm-hmm. just this. Uh, the, do you, again, do you again. not want to see all the money that was taken again, returned to the people? Again, uh, I, we have signed. Hindi niya matanggap. Hindi niya matanggap. Hindi matanggap ng reporter. Yes, go po. This family has signed a quit claim. Quit signed many quit claims. That's true. Any money that you find is yours. That's true. And finish. And we, we, everything was taken from us. We went to, we, we were taken to Hawaii. Everything to our, everything was taken from us. We had nothing, we had nothing left. Not the view of the Presidential Commission. I'm sorry? Not the view of the Presidential Commission. This is my final question on this topic. The pres- which Presidential Commission? In the Philippines. Their, oh, their view I is think, there's a I large think, amount of money I outstanding. Think that, that, that I think that having seen the facts, I said to have, That's uh, true. I said as, as uh, they have been slowly revealed, uh, with further true investigation, not propaganda, That's but true. actual true investigation, like That's court true. cases and investigations by uh, all kinds of uh, NGOs, different agencies. Since that, that does, that has changed, and people uh, uh, people can see that it was propaganda. Yes. I suppose the question is: other countries in the region, including Australia, mm. want to know that the Philippines and you, in particular, as a Marcos, mm. have come to terms with your family's history. There, there was a time where the the issue was Marcos. That's not the case anymore. That's true. Uh, and that's why. That's why he's the president. I think the best proof of that is uh, my election. President Marcos, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Sunog din ni reporter. <laughs> eh, 
i-gaslight mo pa, tatanungin mo pa si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, ipipilit mo pa yung tanong mo, you just gonna force the question to him for the past 36 years. Di ba? They were, they were, they were being attacked and thrown allegation. Di ba? Ang daming kaso. Tama naman yung sinabi ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos eh. Naipanalo yung mga kaso eh. Oh. Yung trial of the century kay, Imelda, kay Madam Imelda, naipanalo yun. Kasi nga walang ebidensya. Most of them are propaganda. Hindi mali. Di ba? O oh, dito na tayo sa pangalawa. Di ba? <laughs> yan, yan ang yan, si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Sanay na yan eh. I mean, tandaan nyo guys. 30 years silang ginan yan. Kaya, just ko po, sanay na yan. Speaking to 7.30. Yeah. Thank you. Piko. <laughs> oh, dito na tayo. Ito na. Ito pa yung isang interview niya. Okay? Maganda rin tong topic na to kasi, itong interview na to, kasi dito, focus sa West Philippine Sea. At meron tayong ipapakita dito na video na connected dito sa mga tanong na itong Bloom, uh, Bloomberg Reporter. Okay? Guys, ha, huwag niyo po sana kalimutan mag-thumbs up, ha? Salamat po sa inyo. Alright? Okay. Tapos, magkaroon tayo ng um, tawag dito, engagement dyan sa baba after nito. Ulitin okay, natin. In the Philippines, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says he's not seeking confrontation with China even as his Mam country Lorena works harder Silverio to assert its territorial claims in disputed waters. He spoke to me exclusively at the presidential palace here in Manila. The threat has grown. Um, and true. since the threat has grown, we must uh, do more to, to defend our, our uh, territory. And uh, so maybe perhaps that's what that has, uh, what we people people are seeing uh, is that a more robust defense of our of our territorial rights uh, as uh, Tama, diba? recognized. Bagong But, Pilipinas, lahat na panalo talaga. The international community, through international law, through the UNCLOS. Ang pinamalaki doon yung trial of the century ni Madam Imelda. New York yun eh. Um, and, and, and we 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 hew very close diba, to that. We, we do not we do Perfect not defect, shout very, out. Uh, we, do not, we have not instigated any kind of conflict. That is we have true. not instigated any kind of confrontation. We are just trying to feed our people. That's true. The US has weighed in. That's true. We're just trying to feed our people. Eh. Totoo yun eh. Wala naman tayong hini, na hindi nga tayo naguho kay diyan eh. 'Di ba? Correct me if I'm wrong ah. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. It constantly points to Article 5 of the Mutual Defense Agreement, mm -hmm. which was signed in 1951. It now says that it now extends Ay, to all armed conflicts, mm -hmm. armed attacks, mm -hmm. in all, in any area of the South China Sea. In practice, mm -hmm. what exactly does that mean? That uh, an a, a incursion, for example, uh, to occupy. Uh, which is already happened, wow. but we're still. Which is nangyare? Panahon ni Digo. <laughs> Ito dali lang ha? Meron na kami play na video. Okay. Trying to 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 keep it uh, 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 peaceful, uh, but you see, we are avoiding. We are avoid. As I said, we think about peace in the, in the national interest. That it is. It. Mahirap yun tanong sa kanya, eh, kasi. Ako, if I interpret ko, masasagasaan niya dito si Digong sa sagot niya. Masasagasaan niya yung past administration kasi maraming ang nangyari. At eto ang isang patunay. Panoorin niyo to. Gusto namang paimbestigahan ng kamara ang Manoorin pagpasok nyo. ng higit tatlong Chinese sa Philippine Coast ah. Guard Auxiliary Force. Pangamba ng isang mambabatas, baka espia na ang mga naturang Chino kung kailan pa naman may tensyon sa West Philippine Sea. Nasa frontline na ba ito si Marian Enriquez? Tatlumput anim na Chinese na nakapasok sa Auxiliary Force o organisasyong tumutulong sa Philippine Coast Guard. Yan ang inungkat ni Surigao del Norte Representative Ace Barbers sa deliberasyon kanina ng Kamara sa panukalang modernisasyon ng Philippine Coast Guard. I'd just like to be... Uh, updated as to the status of uh, that. No? Kasi I, I understand that most of those recruits who were Chinese 
have uh, the ranks of brigadier general, commandant, and all those things. And Sid Hatch, nirecruit 36 Chinese paging parte ng Philippine Coast Guard. Tatlong taon na natili dyan. Panahon ni Digong yan. Panahon ni Digong yan, guys. Isipin nyo. Animal eh. Magre-recruit ka ba ng Ch Chinese? At magiging parte ng Philippine Coast Guard? Di ba? Yan na sinasabi ko. Di ba? Sabi ni Bagong Pilipinas, search mo, trial of the century, international court, Los Angeles, PCGG, ni Cory, ang lahat na napanalo. Kaya, na nga, nakauwi ang mga Marcos dahil napanalo. Yes. Sige, search na. Yan yeah, o, no, isipin nyo, tuloy natin to ha. Oh. Parang na-overtaken yung Coast Guard. Sagot ni Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Ronnie Gavan, the listed o inalis na nila ang mga Chino noon pang Disyembre. Biguro kasi ang mga ito na magbigay ng kaukulang permit, kabilang na ang National Security Clearance. We uh, did... Uh, it doesn't matter. Alam nyo, National Security Clearance, it doesn't matter eh. Wala na yan eh. The fact na, hina, na kinuha na itong mga to volunteer Chinese retired general commandant, Kitang-kita natin kung ano yung pwedeng maging impact nito. Abay, for sure, spy yan. Pambira, magtatanga-tangaan pa ba tayo dito, guys? Ha? Diba? Chinese pa yan. Diyos ko. Checks on their compliance to the standard set and we found that they did not comply. So we initiated their listing. They are now... Thank you po, Ma'am Josefina Bitana. Marami pong salamat. In fact, they listed. Pero pag-amin ni Gavan, dalawa hanggang tatlong taong nanatili ang mga Chino sa loob ng Philippine Coast Guard. See? Dalawa hanggang tatlong taon. My God. Tanggalin mo na eh. Hindi na relevant yung compliance eh. Hindi na relevant yan. Diba? Hindi na relevant yan. The fact na nagpapasok ka ng mga retired general na Chinese, tatlong, tat, 36 of them, sa Philippine Coast Guard natin, what made you think na hindi nila ififeed kung ano yung nalalaman nila dyan? Especially, pag nagpapatrolya at maghahatid ng ano, maghahatid ng resupply mission dyan sa mga tropa natin. What, what made you think na hindi nila ififeed yun sa kanilang bansa? Animal. Di ba? Tapos tatlong, dalawa hanggang tatlong taon. Pangamba, tuloy ni Barbers. This Chinese uh, who have been a member of the Auxiliary of the Coast Guard have been performing perhaps spying duties yes. dito sa atin. Mamila, shout out. And uh, in the guise of being auxiliary members. Giit pa ni Barbers, kailangan ito ng mas malalim na investigasyon. Dapat din umanong malaman kung sinong mga miyembro ng Coast Guard Rod. ang nag-recruit sa mga Chinese, lalo na ngayong mainit ang tensyon sa West Philippine Sea. Oh, sige. Kapag tayo napasok nitong mga mga China man na nag i lang sa atin, uh, it will render the Coast Guard the armed forces uh, useless and inutile. Natanong din... Tandaan nyo, may vlog ako. May vlog ako na isang US citizen na Chinese. Okay? Ang nag-spy sa US Army at nagbigay ng sensitive information sa China. Nandyan yan sa vlog ko. Panoorin nyo. Nireaction ang ko yan. Nandyan yan sa vlog ko. In-upload ko yan. A US citizen, a US citizen na to ha, na Chinese. Ang ginawa nito, pumasok sa Army or, or Marines or Navy or Air Force at nagbigay ng information sa mga China, sa Chinese. Hindi fake news yan, totoo yan. Nandiyan yan sa ano ko sa sa upload ko. Panoorin niyo nandiyan yan. Yan yata huli kong upload. O bago yung mga upload ko sa Itbulaga. Okay, tuloy natin to. Santa Rosa City Representative Dan Fernandez, kung meron bang alien employment permit para magtrabaho sa Pilipinas ang mga Chinese? Tugon lang ni Gavan. 
there are volunteers, there are auxiliaries. As to whether or not uh, they need to have the work permit, um, it is beyond our purview at this point. But I think it doesn't make sense ano, kung voluntary. Dahil Aba. sa pagiging sensitibo umano ng issue, humiling ng executive session ang Philippine Coast Guard para sagutin ang iba pang tanong uh, ng mga kongresista. See that? Because of the sensitivity of this matter, executive session ang hiningi. Kasi hindi pwedeng malik information. Hindi mo alam kung ano na yung mga nalik na information na itong mga 36 na Chinese na to. At ito naman, ito ha. Nagbabalita mula sa frontline, Marian Enriquez, News 5. Ito ang sinasabi ko, hindi naman masama eh. Pero naging masama lang kasi alam natin ang ginagawa ng Chinese ngayon sa West, sa South China Sea, sa West Philippine Sea. So ano pag-iisipan mo ba? Ay, hindi nila gagawa, wala silang gagawin na ano, hindi maganda. Retire na yung mga yan. Of course not. You cannot put your defense down. Tapos dalawa hanggang tatlong taon na nanatili dyan? Kaya ang sagot ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos dito, nangyari na. Di ba? At nag-iingat din siya kasi masasagasaan niya si Digong. Sasagot niya, pakinggan niya to. Does not serve any purpose to heighten tensions. To say, okay, I am invoking now the mutual defense treaty. And uh, that, that I don't think anyone wants that. Unless... It's a hard question. You've asked a very difficult question. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unless, unless the the effects are such that it is a threat, it is it will become an existential threat to the country. Then I think it's very easy to say that uh, that 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 would uh, that would trigger uh, the the mutual defense treaty, the agreement between the United States and the Philippines. How confident are you about U.S. support? How far do you think the U.S. would go to support the Philippines? There's a new way to save oh, retirement for today's Marshall. workforce. Maganda yung mga tanongan dito eh. Sa interview na to. In the South China Sea. Well, that, thus far, uh, we we can say that the United States has been very uh, uh, Lawrence uh, Lawrence certainly Silvio very supportive in every, in every way. And yeah. um, and Ito, si State Secretary Anthony Blinken, bumisita lang sa Pilipinas last week. Nagkita din sila, nagpunta rin, nagbigay din ng ironclad support si Biden, which is, um, ewan ko kung mananalo siya sa susunod na eleksyon, no? O maraming salamat may yon nila. So, andun yung support kasi we need that, eh. Kailangan natin yan, eh. Kailangan natin ng strong ally. Kailangan natin ipakita sa... Like what I said, kailangan natin ipakita sa International Committee, ano bang ginagawa na itong mga animal na to, itong Chinese na to sa atin, itong China. Hindi lang sa atin eh. hindi lang naman, alam mo, hindi lang naman Pilipinas ang nakikinabang dito. Even our neighboring countries na meron din reclaim or claim dyan sa pinag-aagawan teritoryo sa South China Sea. Kasi kung titingnan natin to guys, ang pinaka-active dito, pinaka-aggressive talaga dito, at nagpapakita ng show of force and power dito, China lang naman eh. China Wala naman ang iba eh. Wala naman ibang bansa. China lang. Di ba? Oh. So, pa paano mo ipapakita sa China na hindi mo kami pwedeng ganyan-ganyanin? Of course, get the attention of the international community. Your neighboring countries, di ba? Countries that fought side by side with you during World War II, which is America, di ba? At meron kang meron tayo bigla man na defense treaty. Walang masama doon. I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. Hindi 'yun sinasabi na sunod-sunod tayo sa American no. 'Di ba? Tuloy natin 'to. As uh, the United States has really uh, shown, uh, uh, that it takes very seriously these agreements that we have. And so but it is dangerous for one to think in terms of when something goes wrong, we'll run to Big Brother. Uh, that's not the way we treat it yes. at all. I say, we, 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 we do this for ourselves. We do this because we feel that we have to do it. And Taka, it's not... Tanda the... natin, ha? hindi lang because of the yaman dagat ang ating pinaglalaban dyan. Diyan dumadaan ng trade. 
So, isipin nyo, pag na-control yan ng China, naunan niya ng trade eh. Di ba? So, ano mangyayari? Di ba? Oh. Behest or the, of the United States. Just to follow up on that, how confident are you the U.S. is willing to go to war with China over a disputed reef in the South China Sea? Oh, God. Uh, you, how far is the U.S. prepared to go? What are your talks suggesting to you? Well, I, I really... Uh, we, we would... The, To take the take the a step back from that question is that that is precisely what we want to avoid. Yes. Uh, we want to do everything we possibly can together with our partners and allies to avoid that situation whatsoever. This is the, this is not this is not the uh, uh, poking the the, the bear. bear as it were. Uh, we are trying quite to, to, to do quite the opposite. You know, we're, We're trying to to keep things uh, at the at the man. The, the China, we can, the, the China, the Chinese or China cannot afford to go to war. Magko collapse yung bansang yan. Sa lakin yan, magko collapse yan. Hindi yan, hindi yan, hindi ka kaya ni ng gera yan. Hindi, hindi sila Israel. Okay, isipin yung Israel ilang dekada lang nasa gera. Ilang dekada na yan, di ba? With Palestine, oh, ilang dekada na. Ang China, hindi yan kakayanin ng China. At hindi gagawin ng China yan. Kasi alam nila ng China na hindi lang Amerika ang makakalaban nila. Kasi the only reason for them to go to war para talaga makuha nila yung buong South China Sea na yan. Ganun lang, yun yun eh. Mapasok nila yan at ma-establish nila this is ours, this is our territory, this is part of our historical territory. Yun yun eh. So they... they, they yun lang yun eh. Sa tingin mo, papasok sila. Sige, sabihin na natin, hypothetically, sa sasakupin nilang Pilipinas, ay di mas lalo silang kawawa. Oh. They will not do that. They cannot afford to go to war. Ah, di ba? Sa tingin mo, babakapan sila ng Russia? Na ang Russia ngayon, it, it, in war with Ukraine? uunahin ng Russia kung ano yung nangyayaring gera sa Ukraine. Oh. Sino ba ba sila? Iran? Na alam natin, ka- ang Saudi, eh, ka- kapanalig ng United. Hindi, hindi nila gagawin yan. ...level uh, to continue the dialogues, whatever they are, at every level. And we have initiated many of those dialogues. At the, we have dialogues at the sub-ministerial level, at the ministerial level, and at the executive level. And so I think that that's what we have to continue because uh, it, it, it would, the, the, there are many volatilities in the area, in the region. Back in May, you talked about how Philippine military bases will not be used for offensives no. against China. No. Do you still maintain that position? Yes, of course. See that? Of course. We have no we have no interest in 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 attacking anything or anyone. Uh not at all. Uh, th- that is the Which fir- is ang ang naretibo ng mga DD shit. No magagamit 'yan sa gera. Kaya nga nagtayo ng EDSA site eh. Para 'yan ang maging ano eh uh, strategic um tao dito base ng United States pag ang Taiwan daw inatake ng China. This thing from our mind. Uh, that, no, we would not we would not allow that. Uh, unless we're at war perhaps, but we that's why that's why that's why we want to keep away from that uh, that situation as uh, as as much as we can for 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 and maintain that uh, Maybe it's an it could you you could describe it as an uneasy peace, but it's peace nonetheless. Yes. You're sitting on one of the fastest growing mm. countries in Asia. Is that sustainable? Can you achieve six and a half to seven and a half percent growth for the year, for instance? Okay, yeah, ito ah, mga didi siya ta. Reporter na nagsabi, you are sitting one fa- one of the fastest growing economy in Asia, which is the Philippines. Ah, oh. okay. I think so. Huwag yung sasabihin, panahon ni Digong yan. Dahil si Digong, galing sa pandemic. Alam nyo yan. 
I think uh, well, much of much of the policies that we uh, that we uh, uh, taken on are are really to 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 spur growth. It, uh, that is part of the most that's the most important part because it is only growth that will pull us out of uh, this the, the morass that was left after the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, even in terms of inter- even in terms of debt ratios, even in terms of uh, uh, unemployment, in, in terms of inflation, it really is growth. It, it, that, 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 that seems to be the key. Is it sustainable if we continue down this road, if we defend all of the things that we are doing? I believe it is. Um, I believe it is. If we are also agile yes. in terms of responding to the shocks that come up, come up uh, from other from from the outside. Uh, to put it that way, uh, shocks that we cannot control or can have very little influence over, if any. So that's the, that will be the key. It's a six-year term. Do you think you can get to 8% within oh. six years that you're in office? Sure. Why not? Um, uh, you know, uh, there, there's no... We plan. We always plan for the ideal. We don't plan for uh, a a mediocre result. We plan for a very good result. (laughs) Patama yes. Patama yun sa mga amoyong ni Digong. (laughs) We don't plan for a mediocre result. Did this shit. Narinig niyo ba yun, mga DDS? Ha? <laughs> um, and as I said, we just have to adjust along the way as we as we uh, uh, continue to to transform the economy. But yes, I, I think it is. I think it is doable. Several banks are currently in focus because of interest rates. In the Philippines, rates are at, I think, 17-year highs. How much room is there for you to cut rates? Or rather, the BSP to cut rates. We're still battling inflation. Uh, yeah. Inflation is still our biggest uh, problem. Uh, that we, and when you when you separate core inflation to inflation that involves agri products, for example, uh, you can see that the core inflation we're doing rather well in terms of controlling it. But again, these these shocks that keep coming in. But still, not quite the time to cut rates because inflation is still sticky. <sighs> Perhaps uh, it, it, we, we we look at it all, uh, almost every every week uh, to see if it's time to 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 bring down the rates. We are rates, not yet yeah. there. Mm. And the peso at a three month high. Yes. Are you comfortable? See, the, peso, the, the, peso? The, the, the peso. Peso three month high, guys. Pasalamat naman natin ng gobyerno natin, guys. Although hindi maganda sa amin dito sa tagay US, siempre mo abang dollar. Pero siempre maganda sa ekonomiya ng Pilipinas yan. Peso three month high. Galing na yan na sa, sa reporter ng ano, Bloomberg. Ah. Oh, mga DD shit, baka na naman sabihin nyo, kaya na naman ang may pakanaan yan. <laughs> Kasi ang alam lang na itong mga to reactionan, of course, yung personalidad ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, hindi yung kanyang intelektual. Kasi hindi naman nila nakokomprehend yan. They cannot even understand. Itong sigurong... Um, pinapaliwanag dito ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Hindi lahat sila, some of them, yung mga talagang basurang content. I cannot even really comprehend yung paliwanag. No. Peso in three month high. Well, three yes, month because high. it's an indication of the strength of the economy. Yes. Um, there is a downside to it for the Philippines because of our overseas workers where the dollar Yes. It's worth a little less than it normally would be. But uh, I, I see it as an, as an affirmation that the economy has, has grown stronger. Yeah. Ayan, ha? Guys, ha? So, kitang-kita natin yung kanyang mga foreign trips, yung kanyang mga ginagawa ngayon, hindi lang basta, ano sabi nung Pangulo dati, pasyal-pasyal? Hindi ba? Pasyal-pasyal daw. No, of course, hindi ka agad magmamaterialize. Pero kunti-kunti, the plan is working. The plan is materializing. It's not even there yet. But we're getting there. You know, peso na trimanay, it's a good indication that the economy is doing, 
it's going there and going to be a better economy. Di ba? We're going, we're getting there. Huwag tayo magmadali. Hindi ganun yan. Hindi ka parang nagbibuild ng bahay na ang, fun, ang foundation mo eh, tawag dito, hindi matibay. Of course, you have to build underneath a strong foundation so you it will not collapse. So, itong mga foreign trips si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, nang ihikayat ng investor, the pledge that he's getting from different countries, this is very important for the economy of the Philippines. And especially, itong um, economic uh, amendments na gagawin. Diba? This is very important. It will help us to boost our economy. Now, hopefully, pagbaba niya, yung 8%, hindi lang basta 8%. G, 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 diba? Maging 10% or more. Which is, hindi natin pwedeng, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na mangyayari, pero we are hopeful because we are hopeful for the best. For the best for the Philippines. Diba? At yung nakita niya naman, yung sagot niya pagdating sa China at yung nangyaring kursin na nga sa China. O ano? Ano nakita natin? 36 na Chinese naging parte ng Philippine Coast Guard. My God. Kahit na volunteer pa yan. 3, 2 to 3 years? Ipinayagan nyo? Hindi posibleng hindi alam ni Maudig yan. Posibleng hindi alam ni Maudig yan. Posibleng walang may alam dyan. Kaya maganda talaga maimbestigahan yan. At kung ano yung mga information na nag-leak. Diba? Yun ang sinasabi ko. Tapos DDS, mahal yun. Bilis. Sabihin ng mga DDS na vlogger, lalo yung tatlong kalbo, mahal ko. Mahal namin ang Pilipinas. Mag-resign na yan si Marcos. Mahal yung Pilipinas. Eh, hindi nyo matulig sayang puon yung buhay sa ginawa. May payaka-payaka pa sa bandila ng Pilipinas. ba diba? oh Sabi ni Anthony Paul, PBBM is rebuild the economy. Yes, and the relationship with other countries. Totoo, kailangan natin yan eh. Sabi nga ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, friends to all, enemy to none. ba? Diba? Sabi ni Furious Protector, ang utak kasi ng mga DDS, utak kanto, bastos, utak squatter, walang science, bira lang ng bira, na parang tatay nila. I agree. Sabi ni Ma'am Carmelita, siya bright president BBM. Yes, totoo yan. Marami na silang nalaman. Tama. Diba? Totoo yan. Baka marami talaga silang nalaman. Nagmamahal sa Pilipinas eh sila'y sumisira sa bansa. Sabi ni Ma'am Lori Mabawag. Totoo. ba? Diba? Naging uto-uto si Digong sa Chinese. Sabi. Sarap ipa- ipagdasal na ma. Ay, wag naman. <laughs> sabi ni Jocelyn Herrera. Pag si Digong ang ganyan sa, upo, sa upuan ni PBB, panigurado nagmura na yun. <laughs> Ayun lang naman kaya nun eh. Kunyari, matapang, sasabihin ni si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, may, may mas balls pa sa'yo. ba? Diba? Sabi ni, sabi ni uh, Pierce Protector, sa loob mismo ng China, nag gera na sila doon. PRC versus CCP. Yes. Pero kung makukuha ng West, ang West Philippines, malawak na bahagi na ang magagamit nila. Oh, ma'am, totoo yan. ba? Diba? Sabi ni Anthony Paul, kaya DJ yung Philips dapat mag-isip isip who to vote for the for for to keep support for the Filipinos. Yes. Bago Pilipinas, gusto kasi nilang maging komunista ang bansa natin. Kita naman natin na si Digong idol niya si Putin. Oo. Oh, halik itlog nga yun si Digong eh. Hindi itong natatawa ako eh. Isipin mo, ano bang napatuyo ng China sa Pilipinas? Bukod sa nagbigay ng problema regarding sa Pogo. <laughs> Ay, thank you Mang Demio nga, marami salamat. 'Di ba? Hindi eh, po po ko problema 'yan. Yes, nagbibigay yan ng ng ano, nagbibigay yan ng ano, ng uh, tawag dito, ng pera sa gobyerno. Isipin niyo sinalakay na Pogo, community diyan sa eh ko sa probinsya yan na may daan-daang cellphone na nakuha. 'Di ba? Problema ang binigay ng Pogo. Dinagdagan pa ng proble- sa problema ng kapulisan natin. ba? Diba? Pogo Hospital, sabi ni Furious Predator. Sabi ni Mama Ate Baite Baisa, yung mga bulag na intindihan si Digong. <laughs> Being former president, the word pa siya na sasabihin niya, masabi mong si Digong parang di presidente dati. Si Digong ang totoong weak leader. I agree. 
I agree. Hindi kasi nagba- nakikita naman natin ngayon, pabihira naman, no? Di ba? Nagtayo sila ng hospital para sa CCP na andun dito sa Pilipinas. Sabi yung virus friend. Sana ituloy ni Barbers ang investigasyon yan. Magtulungan sila para mag, ano, magbayad ang mga may kagawa-gawa. Hindi, sana nga magkaroon ng Senate hearing to eh. Ako gusto ko magkaroon Senate hearing kasi this is a very interesting ano interesting um tawag dito um um uh, uh oh very alarming na nangyayari situation no dito sa nangyari sa Philippine Coast Guard natin kahit na sabi ko kahit na volunteer yan the mere fact na 2 to 3 years nagstay as volunteer and retired general, retired commandant ng Chinese um, um, Chinese um, army ang mga yan, what made you think na hindi nag spy at kumukuha yan ng information from our Philippine Coast Guard? It's not even that. Sabihin na natin, technology-wise, hindi yon. Hindi yon. hindi technology-wise. Yung strength natin. Strength ng Philippine Coast Guard. Di ba? Oo. Oh. Kung saan sila magpapatrol niya. Kung saan dadaan ngayon para maghatid ng ano, maghatid ng um, resupply mission. What made you think na hindi nalalaman yan at fini-feed doon sa Chinese counterpart nila? Kaya this is a very alarming situation na nangyari. Two to three years. Tandaan nyo guys, two to three years yan. Tapos sasabihin, ano sasabihin ng mga DDS, hindi naman ginagawa dati ng China eh. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Diba? Uh, sabi ni Ma'am Lori Barag, doon sa, sa island ko, puro Chinese nakatira. O, tinan nyo? Evelyn Ortiz, oh, napaka-professional talaga mga sagot ni PBBM. Sa mga tanong, nakaka-proud bilang isang Pilipino, meron tayong matalinong presyo. Yes, totoo. Actually, isipin nyo, Mama, ingat na ingat siya sagutin nyo sa China, sa invoke, invoke ang Defense Mutual Treaty. Ingat na ingat siyang sagutin yan at ingat, hindi mo kasi basta-basta sasa, presidente ka ng Pilipinas, tandaan mo. Everything that, every word that will come out from your mouth, it will, ano, kusabaga, it will make a, um, tawag dito, um, may epekto. It can be misinterpreted. di ba? At syempre, kung iniisip, ito, iniisip niya rin si Digong Porsure eh. Baka mama, is kasi sinabi na nga niya, nangyari na incursion eh, di ba? Which is nasakop na yung ibang island dyan eh. Oh. Pero ingat pa rin siya sumagot, right? Sabi ni Ma- Mama Teosa, konting trip ni Digong, may pagkakataong tulog na, tulog di naka-attend. <laughs> Lalong lumala ng si Digong upo, yes. Lahat ng sinabi ni PRRD, siya pala yun. Anthony Paul, wag Senate hearing sa Congress na lang, sabi ni Anthony Paul. Ma'am, dahil hindi niyo ba yun? Pahiram ko, pahiram ko video mo ha, wag mo ako. Oo oh, naman! Oh, lahat ng gusto mag-react dito sa video, yes, okay lang yan, walang problema. Sige lang, ma'am, tem yung. No problem. Oo. Hindi naman ako lang kakapi, ano? Diyos ko naman. Late-late kong vlogger, magkakapi rin pa ba? At saka, sisko tayo-tayo lang magtutulungan dito. Di ba? Okay lang yan. Anthony Paul, patient yung mga ano pasyente yung mga exercises oh sino pa may comment na ba kay diyan uh, nakakatakot naman yan sabi ni Ma'am Gina oh dito oh. to eh kasi ang bihira oh oh ano ano comment niyo kay Maharlika ah? <laughs> kasi hindi ako makapagbasa ng comment kasi focus ako sa pagre-reaction eh Pero uh, ngayon, because of, uh, like I promised to you guys na magkakaroon ako ng engagement, magbabasa ako ng comment section after natin mag-live. So we're, we're starting to practice that, no? Kasi gusto ko kayong, syempre, ayoko naman sabihin, ayoko naman sabihin nyo, DJ Byron, comment ako ng comment, hindi ka naman nagbabasa ng comment, di ba? Ripple effect yun, make or break, so he is very careful. Yes, totoo. Presidente siya eh. Sorry, I was wearing gloves. No worries. Carmelita Shok, wala pag-asa sa Senado. Mga pro Duterte ang mga yan. Lalo na si Engot, Robin, wag ibalik ang mga re- re- re-electionist ng group ni Digong. Si Hyderian tulog, ha? Tulog yan. Tulog sa trip si Digong imbes na umaten. Oo nga. Na- na- nakita ko nga yan. Thanks sa most jacket. No problem, Antemio. Okay. 
wala eh. Kasi baga guys, um, eto yung reality ngayon, eto yung kinakaharap natin. And again, like what I said, no, it's better to have friends that surround you and have a sincere um, intention to really show that our president wants to push or uh, dawag dito, um, panatili ng kapayapaan yan at yun din ang gusto ng mga karating bansa natin na kaibigan natin. Diyan sa West Philippines, especially US. And hindi lang basta, hindi lang siyempre basta because nagpapakita ng force ang US, nagpapakita ng presensya niya with their jets, with their surveillance, um, surveillance, um, tawag dito, aeroplano at yung mga, um, um, tawag dito, uh, fighter carrier na, na, na ship. Hindi yun yun eh. Pinapakita lang na, hey, we are watching you. <laughs> yun 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 eh. We are watching you. That's the message na pinaparating ng United States sa from other countries sa China. Na hindi hindi niyo pwedeng gawin yung pangabang buhay. 'Di ba? Isipin niyo binobomba tayo ng tubig, gumigi ba tayo ng tulong sa Amerikano? No. Of course, hindi. Kahit na meron diyan ed kasight sa atin, hindi tayo humingi ng tulong. Kasi we have our own foreign policy. 'Di ba? Oh. Comment ko dyan, makulong na yan. Harapin na lang ni Hitad ang yung kaso niya. Hindi ko napanood si Mah- Mahar-, Mah- Mahar Kulet, boss, DJ Byron, pero nalil ko na lang. Okay, sige guys. Um, siguro okay na tayo. No? Dito ko natatabusin to kasi ang haba na itong live natin. Maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyo. Ha? Sana po eh, nagustuhan nyo yung ating video reaction. Sa mga magre-reply na ito, especially sa mga first part, panoorin nyo na lang. Siyempre si Tevez na aresto na. At tingnan natin ang development niya by next week. Ngayon si Maharliga, kinasuhan na naman. ba diba? Ni Mr. Poy. ba diba? uh, At humihingi ng damage. Uh, tawag dito. Uh, 2 million dollars. I-reply nyo na lang po yan. Uh, nakapagtanong din tayo. Na tinan- sinabi nga ng nung complainant at nung abogado, ipuproceed nila itong kaso kay Maharlika. At dito naman sa mga dalawang interview ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, ano pong reaction nyo dyan sa mga magre-reply nito? Please, write your comment dyan sa comment section. Don't forget to thumbs up. Maraming maraming. Sabi ni Daenerys, DJ, baka naman pwedeng gawa ng reaction video yung 4 days power nap ni Digong sa Asian Summit. Sige, hahanapin ko yan. Hahanapin ko yung link niya tapos reaction na natin. <laughs> okay? But once again, guys, maraming marami pong salamat sa inyo. You guys are awesome. Shout out sa inyo lahat. Shout out, syempre, from Yori Nawawan, Stone Trooper. Shout out, Anthony Paul, Joseph Banggug. Dayneers, maraming salamat. Jose Herrera, Bagong Pilipinas, Mang Temyong, Ate Mighty Baisa. Thank you so much, Anthony Paul. Shout out sa iyo. Of course, Ate Tiger Eyes, my music and topic family. Maraming maraming salamat sa support. I love you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting me. Furious Protector, of course, Stormtrooper. Carbonate Shook, maraming pong salamat sa inyo. Ate Weng. Uh, sino pa ba? Tol Tapuan, Tol Makmak Pablo, maraming salamat sa pagpunta rito. I appreciate you guys. Siyempre, Banat Boy, maraming salamat. Ma O'Neal, Kaloyal Lily Trinidad. Uh, sino pa ba? Um... Uh, Yolanda Pampano, Miyazuki, Yami Lies, Ambiyu, maraming salamat. Sweet Escape, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, sino pa? Gretchen, Joyce Garcia, inood na pa talaga ng admin ni Digong na ipasok ang mga Chinese military na yan. Kesa sa Pilipino, handang ipaglaban ng ating masa. Buisit talaga yung admin ni Digong. Dapat talaga, not to pro-China na. Sabi ni Gretchen, Joyce Garcia, I agree with you. Uh, Ma'am Hilda Enriquez, maraming po salamat. Ma'am Gina, thank you so much. Charlene Kim Ron, maraming salamat. Si Digong, maraming salamat sa iyo. Maritil T. Um, Moises Barreto, maraming pong salamat. Thank you for being here. Sino pa ba? Vicente Leon Noel Diaz. Thank you so much. Lorena Silverio, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, sino pa ba? Sino? Perfect Defect, thank you for being here. Maraming salamat sa iyo. Charlene Kim, uh, sino pa, sino pa, hindi ko na shout out. Uh, Pre- Presi Castillo, maraming salamat, I appreciate you. Ma'am Gina Papacho, maraming salamat. Gregorio Tan, thank you for watching. Paul, maraming salamat. Paul Irene, ko 19 maraming salamat sa iyo. Papacho, Ma'am Joanna Twillier, maraming pong salamat. Ati Trixie, maraming salamat. GB, Thank you, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Jesse G, Road Sector. 
Ate Trixie, Carmeli Anthony Paul, Infinite Stream TV, maraming salamat. 49ers lang ka sa club. Thank you so much. Once again guys, maraming marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Helen Magatiag, marami pong salamat. Uh, The Warrior, thank you so much. Mami Best Friend, marami pong salamat. Nakikimami na ito. <laughs> uh, uh, maraming maraming salamat. You guys, so once again, this is DJ Barn. Your Music and Topic TV. I have read, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you. Uh. Again, marami pong salamat. I hope you always find value on the things that we share with discuss in my channel. Have a wonderful weekend to each and every one of you. Magkita-kita po tayo ulit next week on my next live stream. At Mami Tess, marami po salamat. Mami Terry, thank you so much also. Magkita-kita po tayo ulit on my next live stream. I appreciate each and every one. I have nothing but appreciation. Grateful to all of you guys. DJ Byron, Music and Topic TV. Peace, love, and respect po siya. God bless you. God bless you. Cheers. Bye for now. Thank you guys. Love you all.